What's up, crazy world? Welcome to another episode of the Black Sheep Perspective. Uh, guys, before I get into this podcast, and I'm I'm looking forward to it like you wouldn't even imagine, I got a stranger in front of me that I literally have never met until up a half, about a half an hour ago. I wanted to, to approach this podcast differently because I want everybody to, to, to really know and understand that um, the topics that I talk about, the people that I have here, is genuine. It's from the heart, and, and I, it's nothing scripted. I'm not trying to pick and choose people who are, are favoring my point of views, who are favoring a, a certain dialogues that are going on in the world. Instead, you know, if you grab my attention for some specific reason that you have, some genuine way of being, some intriguing thing that I don't know anything about, I, I, I'm going to ask you to be on the podcast, whether or not I can reach out to you. This young brother happens to be one of them. I literally just met him 30 minutes ago. We did a quick little vibe check, you know, out, out when the cameras were off, just trying to let them know how the podcast is going to go. And I told him, man, I want to keep this thing live. I want people to understand I do not know you. And I want to put you on the spot in a, in a cordial, respectful way. And I want to get your opinion because I know that he's in an age bracket. He's a level-headed brother. He fucks with people that I fuck with. And I felt like his opinion would have a lot, it'll hold a lot more water. So welcome to the podcast, Lex. Help me out on the last name so I don't fuck it up. <laughs> Lex Lindquist. Lindquist. Yes, sir. Lex Lindquist. <laughs> yes, sir. Appreciate you having me. Everything he said is completely valid. Stranger. Well, not anymore now. We're about you go. to get to know each other live on camera, so let's get it. That's in. right, man. We we just want I just want to talk about a bunch of topics, folks, that's going on in, in the world in so many different ways. Not really politics and all that. I know you guys are tired of that shit, whether we come across that organically, you know, if we if we cross that bridge, we mm -hmm. do. But more so, what's happening here in our country, in America, what's happening here in Florida, Miami, big cities, things that's going around our nation, uh, you know, uh, a lot of topics that, as men, we want to talk about from different age brackets, and also that women want to talk about, though we don't have a woman on board right now, we definitely want you guys' opinion, so got girls, chime in, guys, chime in, we're going to go live later on, Lexis. And uh, if you guys watch it, man, make sure you you know you shoot your questions. If you missed the live, just go ahead and drop some questions, and we'll, we'll address them. But Lex, we're going to do this live, brother. First of all, let me shake your hand. appreciate for you appreciate to come, you. man. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, the reason I, I hit you up, homie, because like I just said on, on this intro, I liked your vibe. You, mm -hmm. you started following me a while back um, because of the podcast. You followed the podcast, That's and right. then you followed me on Instagram. I checked you out, no homo, and and I thought, man, I like this brother. I like what he's got going on. I saw your videos, saw your page, saw you know the way you talk, the way you act. Yep. Started following you, so I've been following you for a minute, and you know, as of lately, you know, I think you, you might have took a little time off, a little bit. You weren't posting as much. Mm -hmm. it, maybe you can you know elaborate on that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. no, but um, you started posting, and uh, I was just really digging what you were saying. You know, you, you went and visited some kids at a school. You mm -hmm. were giving them some some great advice right. in regards to the, the, the society that we're in and influencers and so on and so forth. We'll get back to that. You, you gave an opinion about people getting offended when they really shouldn't be offended unless the shoe fits. And I was 100% mm -hmm. right. agreeing with that, that. That is definitely something that I was really mm -hmm. big on. And I, yo, I like the vibe, man. I feel like, man, you're not going to come in here and just be some uh, shit-talking animal mm -hmm. who has no kind of, you know, uh, uh, Credibility, mm -hmm. so I asked you to come on. We we vibe. We chopped it up on the, on, on IG, and then we came over here, and then here we are, brother. Mm -hmm. So, again, appreciate you. Okay, so let's start off. I like to know people's backgrounds before we get into type of conversation. Because if we got into a conversation, mm -hmm. I didn't know your background. At some point, we'll be like, all right, what influenced you right. to be like this? Why do you think like this? If you had if you had mommy issues, I'm gonna find out. You know, <laughs> if you like. You know, a woman who's just so nurturing. I'm gonna be like, "Yo, Lex, mm. uh, was your mom in the picture?" You know, I'm gonna slowly but surely try to dissect why is it. So, pick me apart, baby. I want I want people to know about you the same way I'm about to learn about you. Okay, so really quick, how old are you, brother? I am 31 years old. 31. Okay, mm. and you got a birthday coming up, or is that fresh? No, November 27th. So Sagittarius gang for whatever uh, that means. Yeah, <laughs> tell me you're not one of these horoscope nah, people. Not. <laughs> <laughs> to keep it real, it, it's that that comes up for years. Everyone's like, "Oh, you're a Sag." I'm like, I don't know what that means, but. Uh, yeah, people, yeah. Uh, that's it's, people. it's big. It's big right now, though. People love it. People really into it. Look, if that's what you into, by all means, more power to you. But I'm not gonna um, lie to you, man. I had this conversation with one of my boys, and I said I just got on a on a dating app on um okay on Hinge, okay, and literally that's, just got on a month ago. That's the hot one. And I haven't been on no dating app for a minute, mm. and and I've always done bad with them. Always, always, always. <laughs> but anyhow. Not that it's going to help me because it definitely doesn't. If I see that you are heavily horoscope fucking leaning. Red flag. Shout out to my homegirl, Romy. I love you, girl. That's why we're not dating, okay? But, you know, we just friends. But I love you, girl. She's one of them. But, man, when I see that whole 
tell me your sign and I'll tell you this. Or if, yeah, yeah. if, if you don't like the this, this, and that, like if you that heavy on it, bro, I'm hitting X. Yeah, I'm hitting, it's too much. For me, I, I, I understand the red flag. I wouldn't say deal breaker because there's a difference. You know what I mean? She might be... You know, hella into that, but she could have a hella other amazing qualities that we haven't tapped into. So, Great but, point. but, 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 but to what you're saying, yeah, I, I, I could get it. For me, who you are, I might be you, extreme on that. I right. can, I can accept that. For me, who you are, what you've grown into be, um, is much more predicated on your upbringing. You know, habits that you've developed. Um, a lot of other stuff, as opposed to the time your parents decided to have sex and when you were born. Right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, you fucking nailed it. But you, you understand that this. And I don't want to ruin it, man. Man, when Romy watches this, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> you know this, but there's a date, there's an hour, there's an everything. They align the moons, mm -hmm. they align the oh, planets, yeah. they, and all that oh, yeah. is, is what fucking formed you. And oh, when yeah, you were yeah. in the goddamn nutsack yeah, and yeah, became yeah. what the hell? Like I don't like for real. I don't get for it. For real, I'll put a, I, I, I say this. I think. I'm with you. I'm on your side of things, but I think also people often hate what we don't understand. We both don't understand it, so we're both gonna very be, well said. Yeah, very so well we said. both are gonna be like. You know what? But so I will say that just to bring it back to like, okay, I'm uneducated on it. It's not my cup of tea. If it is yours, more power to you. And, you know, I leave it at that. But that's, that's such an I amazing point. I always say that people fear that which they don't understand. And then mm -hmm. I always lean on to the, um, do you go spearfishing? Do you go diving? Oh, most people say, hell no. Why not? Sharks. That's it. That's all you know. But if you knew sharks, you knew that that's the most minimum thing that happens, a shark attack out a, there. It, 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 yeah, exactly. Right. You're, unless you're in Africa swimming with a, you know, great whites. Um, it doesn't happen. So it, you're totally right. You yeah, nailed. Yeah. You nailed it. And and I, I like how you kind of back that up because you know, some of us are really opposed to it because we don't know shit about it. We're like, ah, I don't understand but, that. But, but I love it. So let's let's bring that premise into a lot of other things because that is so universal, right? In, right. In everything, whether it's in business, whether it's in dating, and whatever, people just hate with it. To be it's like to be honest, where the hate is coming from is you just don't get it. So like, but we can bring that into. Everything exactly, it's so, it, it, and it's so true. And sometimes I, I think a lot of the time it's valid, and it shows where people's fear comes from. And um, and yeah, it has to be guaranteed. Be acknowledged you, before we're done with the podcast. Oh, by the time we're done with the podcast, mm -hmm. we will have at least five people calling us out saying, "Yeah, that's so Sagittarius." So oh, yeah. <laughs> us, you can so tell he was Sagittarius. I they, get that all and the if time. they don't know it, they're gonna be like, "What's what's West? What is Black Sheep?" <laughs> I'm Gemini. Fuck y'all. All right. Yeah, crazy, yeah. two sided, double head, whatever. All that. that, 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 that yeah, yeah, that's what they say. You know? <laughs> I'm, I'm whatever. You can't trust either side. All right. So, <clears throat> thirty one uh, Sagittarius, um, born and raised in Miami. Local boy. Yeah. Local All right, boy. For, better, that, for better or that. for worse, man. And what's your ethnicity, your parents? I am half Haitian, half white. I mix a mulatto. Um, yeah, just best of both worlds, the way I like to say it. How was your, you know, briefly, how was your upbringing? Mm -hmm. Was was it good? Your parents still together? Um, yes. Yes? Um, my upbringing, uh, I, to be honest, I always say amazing. We never had the world, never had a million things, but I never thought I needed that. We had everything we needed. Both my parents were school teachers growing up, so they they tried their best to enforce education um, on me and my brothers. I have two brothers. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I, everything that they instilled in who we are. You know, I love both my parents to death. That's my, awesome. My dad is a crazy character, all my boys will tell you. Um, white dude, radical, just hilarious, always joking, which is never serious. Um, my mom has always been more formal, a little more strict, but she's also a joke, too, as far as just she just loves clowning. Um, I post them on my social media. I'm big with family. For me, family is everything. That's dope. Um, but I really think that kind of affects um, – or like affected really like who I am myself and as well as my brothers just you know obviously how how we were brought up but yeah uh, who, gave, who gave you the clear eyes I don't know if the camera can get it this motherfucker mm. got sexy ass <laughs> green beige and look and the motherfucker wore this shirt <laughs> just so that it, it brings out the color yo, in his eyes yo, he won't admit it but I know he yo, did you're killing my game right now <laughs> this man killing my game <laughs> what, 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 is, what do you consider the eye color what, uh, what I would say green it? I guess green, green hazel green. it changes yeah it looks, it looks like my nieces. She's got almost oh, the same. Really? And it changes. Hers changes mm -hmm. also. Um, okay, so that's good. So then there, there's no broken house. There's no mm -hmm. uh, missing parents, single life. Mm -hmm. There's no any of that. It, it sounds decent regardless of uh, not the best, not not not, uh, not the worst, you know, mm -hmm. something cool. Yeah, no, for sure. Good relationship with your brothers? Yeah, brothers. Love them to death. Shout out them boys. Lance Lyle. Love y'all. Awesome, um, awesome. We're, we're so different. We're so different, but so the same. The same in the sense that um, truly good people we care about others not selfish both my brothers will give the world to anybody they they stop and give money to the homeless people every time they see they okay. really good hearts but at the same time so different younger brother quiet chill silent assassin everybody's like that dude so chill we love him older brother is a 
freaking Tasmanian devil moving them around, talks fast, acts fast. Are you literally in the middle? Do you have a little bit of both? I'm literally in the middle. Literally. I, I'm literally in the middle. I'm kind of even kill, but high energy at the same time. I'm, same here. Yeah, same yeah, here. Yeah, more outspoken than the other one, but probably not as wild as the other one. But we all we all complement each other, I think, um, perfectly. So, yeah, family, love them to death. And we're so close in the sense that, like, my best friends – are all day best friends almost, you know what I mean? And vice versa. I know all their people, like, we all like that. So. All right, so right now, <clears throat> there's a lot of ladies out there who should be, <laughs> they got a swimming pool going on right now. There's, there's a little pond in the making right in between the area, okay? <laughs> so they're going to ask, what's wrong with him? He must be married. He must be. He must have a girlfriend. First off, are you single? Oh, man. Um, yes, single as can be. Y'all see how he looked down though, right? Look at the camera again. <laughs> rewind it. Look how he looked down. Don't look do back up. Don't he he took a little bit of a deep breath. He was smooth about it, but he took a little bit. <laughs> that sounds like something happened not that long ago. <laughs> Is that safe to say? Uh, yeah, definitely safe to say. I mean, I think in this uh, Miami world we live in, everyone tries to dabble around and whatnot. Very true. Very but, um, true. But yeah, at the moment, single, single, um, hanging out, focused. I would say. Just okay. Focused. Okay. Um, how long were you with the, your ex? Oh man. Um, off and on, off and on, year and some change. Why the off and on? Is that is that uh, you guys are still trying to figure each other yeah, out? Well, you, you started right. fucking around, but then the right. feelings caught up. Mm -hmm. Let me not paint it for you. Yeah, well, what no, was it? No, not at all. I think um, that's a great question. I think it's funny. I was always against. Um, that break stuff. I'm like, I was always like, you know, when I was speaking, I was like, there's, the, the there is break no, up to make up yeah. ordeal. Keep well, there break, is no right. break. Like, hey, let's take a break. Let's take a break. Right. Like, I, I was right. always like big anti that. You know what I mean? But um, but I think sometimes it's necessary. So I think sometimes it was breaks and just figuring shit out and shit gets intense and it's like, and it doesn't mean just oh fuck off, do whatever you want. Shit has to be established or whatever. But um, I think that's why it off and on and you. Just, Bro, you got to figure shit out sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's necessary time apart to figure shit out. And what's meant to be will be, you know, you try your best. I'm not a big proponent in relationships of just quitting and giving up. A lot of people, everybody now was popular is just leave, just leave, just leave. I don't think that's the answer. Also, the answer isn't just stay in some toxic ass shit that you know the person isn't for you. It's a process in figuring out and timing um, and everything. I think not just relationships. Everything is balanced, bro. Whatever y'all are listening to and hearing. Um, it's usually somewhere in the middle. <laughs> it's usually that, in this, my opinion. This is our first cup of wine, uh, whiskey. Yeah. <clears throat> I hope you got it. No, obviously, you showed me earlier. Your memory board is not that good. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell y'all yeah, <laughs> what man, happened. I, I, I be everywhere. In a minute, five, five, five minutes. Try, let's try to remind uh, Try to remind me to come back to that. Because I love that you said that it was a great statement. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to figure shit out. You shouldn't just, you know, bounce. You shouldn't just give up that quick. Mm -hmm. Which I, I'm guilty of that. Let me admit that, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, um, and you definitely shouldn't uh, stick around for something toxic. That I, I think you should bounce quicker than you should stick around for something toxic. Facts. But you definitely set some good middle ground shit. We'll come back to that, okay? So I think this is a great scenario. Uh, again, this is not just for the ladies. I know that I put in my Instagram, mm -hmm. ladies, shoot some questions. We're gonna go live in a little bit, but you know, I, I want I want you guys to comments, okay? So I feel like this is a great person to ask a, a variety of questions because there wasn't no. Bad upbringing. It was. It was either middle or better. It was good. It was positive. Mm. Good brothers. Nice parents. Good. Uh. Good. Good influences. Wh whether or not there was arguments or whatever, it was good enough. It held this ground. They're still together. So on and so forth. Right. Good age. You're not just some young buck who doesn't know shit. Twenty four, trying to tell the fucking world how to live their life, trying to be <laughs> influencers. And I definitely want to talk about that. There's that great that. advice that you gave. Yeah, there's a, a lot, lot of, of that. that going on. So, I really feel like credit to you. I, I think this. This is. Great that I can ask you these type of questions because you're in that good average middle ground mm -hmm. without giving people too much ability to say that, oh, he was fucked up this or he's mm -hmm. fucked up. No, no, that's a good mm -hmm. middle ground ass person. So I think I think your opinion is going to hold a lot of water, like I said earlier in regards to that. So yeah. with that said, you had mentioned that people are so quick to bounce, right? Mm -hmm. That that happens way too often nowadays. Right. For sure. Do you think that's one of our biggest problems now in this younger dating generation of, mm -hmm. I'm going to say 30s. I don't want to discredit the 20-year-olds. <laughs> Guys, don't hate me for it. Understand that you don't understand the amount of wisdom that I'm trying to spit to you and even somebody like Lex at his early age of 31 is trying to spit to you. Mid-20s is different. You guys are hoeing it out. You're having fun. You're wilding out. You're finding yourself. You're this and that. There's no disrespect there. We all been there. We get it. Most of us have been there. Take it for what it is. All right. So 
That and then some. What do you think is fucked up with this dating scene right now? Because it, <laughs> it is very jousty. It's yeah, very yeah. <laughs> who can get who oh, and why. Man. Where do I start? I mean, um, yeah. So this is something you'd love to know. Um, I've had a, a, a catchphrase, a saying, a slogan that I've pushed on social media since 2014, 15. We was on Snapchat, me and my people doing it. Um, I actually branded it, turned it into merch. Um, when the TV show dropped, give it a shout out. Is it still out? The merch? Um, is it still yeah, out? I, I, I gotta restock it, but it, it's, it's more so. It's more so like fuck plugging the merch. It was more so like the premise because it goes right to your okay, question. Okay. But I used to say for everything, is she out there? And for ladies, is he out there? Ooh. And and I just felt like, and it, it was just simple black shirt, white, uh, you know, white letters like got milk, like super simple, but. Um, Cause I just feel like so in this in today's day and age, um, everybody can relate. So I mean, the problems obviously there's tons. Um, a lot of things I think one people are listening to the wrong people. <laughs> Ooh, so I wanted preach. to I wanted to start on that. You touched on it with like the if, if I knew you know back when I was 22, 23, what I know now. Because back then I thought I was young, I was educated. You know I I knew how to talk to people, I understood people. I thought I was like nah, I get it. I didn't get shit. I was an idiot. You know what I mean? Um, and then right now I, I think I'm pretty solid level, but I'm sure ten years from now I'm gonna be people. Somebody else is gonna wake my game up on another you know next level of life. So um, watching who. You listen to the content you consume, you know, who your OGs are, who's the people, their opinions that you revere is important. So I think a lot of people, um, you need to trust somebody in a certain niche. A lot of girls might have an influencer and she might be dope. She might be awesome. You might love her fashion sense. That doesn't mean you should listen to her dating advice. Right. Um, but you already think this person is so awesome that whatever they say is law. Um, and I think that's huge. Let me pause you. Right. So do you think that the reason that they do that? Matter of fact, forget about the fucking reason, right? Mm -hmm. Even though you're 31, yeah, you, you might have been there at the age, but maybe you weren't there mentally where you were doing the same thing that most of these youths when they were when you were younger were doing. Right? Do you think it's more so like, because I'm like, you can't stop that. You, you got to let those people believe who they're going to believe because that's who they vibe with. Mm -hmm. That's what the TikTok algorithms is showing them. This person is young as they are. They 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 share that you said you mentioned fashion. Mm -hmm. In other words. Even if you grab that individual, right, and like and like you went to that classroom, that's different. And I want to, I want to, I want you once you respond to this, I want to talk about that really, classroom yeah, yeah, you sure. visited. Um, <clears throat> is there? I don't want to say no hope, but I'm the type of motherfucker who says, <laughs> let let this motherfucker crash into the wall. They mm -hmm. have to. I promise you. You can tell them, bro, mm -hmm. hey, that wall it ain't what you think. Mm -hmm. There's no money behind that wall. That mm -hmm. wall's gonna hurt your neck. That wall. That wall. That wall. And they're gonna be like, but there's. It's possible. It's like that do not push button. You want yeah, to push yeah. They're like, but, yeah. It, but it's possible that I can be the one to break that wall. I can mm -hmm. be the one who doesn't get hurt. Right. Is it possible? Yeah, according to the mathematics and the laws of physics, yeah, it's possible. When, bro, when people realize that, I'm trying to tell you 99% of the time, they just got to find out on their mm -hmm. own. Mm -hmm. So do you think that these these youths that are following these these bad influences because mm -hmm. they're not bad influences, they're not bad purposely, they just haven't been through shit in life. Mm -hmm. Is it wasted energy trying to convince them mm -hmm. otherwise? Um, I like. I, I would say no because um, if you can save one, it makes all up for I, it. Uh, one of those not, things. No, no, not necessarily. I get it if you do. <laughs> if you do say no, that, not necessarily. Just for me, like that's what gives me hope, and and everything that I speak on, the topics that I speak on, that we could, um, you know, that we could. You know, sway the minds of some, or not even. It's not even like it's more of just telling somebody to be open minded and hear perspectives. You know, so like when you're, you know. You often we seek information we already believe. So when you already have a certain opinion, and then you hear there somebody, you know. somebody, you know, you hear that reinforced. You're like, oh, exactly. I told you. It's why conservatives listen to Fox yep, News, yep, liberals yep. listen to MSNBC. We already have those beliefs. So now we seek that information. Now we hear it. So now you see an influencer who, who you already fuck with, and you're like, yeah. And now you're so into this. You're so into. See, you see, I told you they're all fuck boys. She said it. It's from my experience. That's what I've seen, and that doesn't. Your experience is valid. A lot of stuff that she's saying and she's been through is valid. That doesn't mean that there's so much a whole other side there's other and we're so locked into that so in this dating world we have to watch who we listen to i'm gonna continue to spew that part you know what i'm saying whether they listen or not that's theirs at least i can sleep well at night knowing i did and um and then what's funny is they gonna come back because what happens afterwards when they crash into that wall Hey, man, you motherfucking told me she was fucking around or you told me, you know, you told me just to, you know. Okay, so I gave you that number, right? 99. I'm not saying that's accurate, but I, I, I personally think it's pretty accurate. But <laughs> okay. let's just run with it, right? 99. They come back now. They ran into it. Bop, boom, boom, crack. Da, 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 da. Now, I'm going to ask you, if we're, if we're the hypothetical, what do you think the number is now that they go back? 
whether they don't have to go back to the same person, but they choose the same route into another wall is what I'm saying. Mm. Um, I think that it depends how hard they hit that wall, right? That's a good. That's a, that's a good so, answer. I like so that. So they I go. Like they that. might not go back if they smack that thing super hard. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, but there, you got to remember, there's the whole flip side too. Like, let's say somebody, for example, has been cheated on. Right? That's probably the first thing that's in everybody's mind right now. Or right, they've been fucked over by two or three boyfriends um, or girlfriends or whatever. Naturally, your guard is going to be super up, as it should. Completely mm-hmm. agree with that. But obviously, it fucks up a lot of their, you know, their future situations um, because. You never know who's super solid, and you treat that person like shit. You you know want their location. You don't know because of that. You know, and obviously it's not their fault. So there is um there is a whole flip side that you have to keep in mind. What what do you feel about you know who Kevin Samuels is? Yeah. I okay. Do. That, that I know. There's probably a lot of women out there that if they know who I'm talking about, excuse mm-hmm. me, um, they might not dig him right the way that uh, we appreciate him and whatnot. But that's a whole other argument. You know who he is. One of his one of his best uh, uh, um, lines, and I'm not not quoting and quoted it, is you should never bring your problems into a relationship. a relationship with somebody else and expect them to understand that or fix it or adapt to it. <clears throat> Instead, you should fix that. You should adjust that. And I know that people like to say, you know, and it's and it's both men and women, but I mean, I, I do think we would all agree. Women say it more. I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do me. Do me. Do me. <laughs> I gotta find me. I gotta blah 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 blah. Cool. If that came after crashing a couple of times and so on and so forth, right. so be it. But I do think that that is what Kevin is talking about in regards mm-hmm. to, you know, you can't expect them. Well, I've been cheated on twice, mm-hmm. and I got trust issues. So hold up. You think we're gonna be off to a good start? You think that mm-hmm. this is gonna go well? Mm-hmm. With me having to adjust to that, having mm-hmm. to adjust that, you're not going to trust me. Mm-hmm. You're going to question me more than you probably should. You, you know what I mean? It's just going to be a ripple effect of shit, yeah. and I got to go extra to convince you. Yeah. Especially when you, as you get older, and I was telling you, remind me later on, and that'll come later on. As you get older, mm-hmm. same thing's going to happen to you. That you, you you're going to be irritable. Like, I'm, how long do I got to keep going through this shit? Like, what are we talking about? Yeah, here? yeah, oh no, for sure. I think. Um, like I was saying earlier, ba- balance is everything. I, I don't think anybody is going to come into a situation, especially when they um, got damaged and they're trying to work on themselves picture perfect, right? Nobody's going to come in. Um, but And at the same time, you can't hold anybody else responsible for any of the shit you've been through. You have to work on yourself and fix that. So I think it's a balance of... you. Don't just hop right into something if you fucked up, number one. Do not just hop back into something. You spend some time, figure it out what the do's and don'ts, what the issues are. A... B, when you are trying to enter the dating world or you find somebody that you fuck with on that level and you're trying to, and maybe you realize, damn, because men realize it or women realize it, like, that really wasn't their fault that I was tripping and I called them t- twice when they were out with their boy, they were out with their, you know, and it, you know, and now his guard is up, like, you know, but it's just communicating it to your partner, what you've been through, and it's, but also communicating, it's not your fault, it's on me and I'm working on it, give me a little leeway. Give me, I'm, I'm going to try my best. If I'm tripping, let me know. And, and that's how you work. And you have to do your best as on the other side of holding that person to their word. You, I get, I'm the type, and maybe I'm naive for it. I give somebody the benefit of the doubt. Okay, solid. Okay, no problem. I understand. I'm going to work with you. I'm going to be more patient. I'm not just going to snap because you were questioning something. No, no worries. I'm going to work with you. But and when something becomes a habit, when something starts to be reoccurring, that's when we get towards the open communication and figuring out at what point it's time to, you know, to snip it. Because like I said, I, I'm not a big proponent of just leaving it. When you fuck with somebody and you really fuck with them on a certain level, it's hard to find that. So don't just hop out, but also know what your deal breakers are and know, uh, hey, this is really, I'm not trying to threaten you, but we have to fix this because I'm not feeling it going forward. And that needs to be communicated on. Because if it is communicated upon and they continue that behavior, then you can say, look, I did my part and you can walk the other way. What do you? What kind of time scale? And I know it's a very difficult <clears throat> question to ask you because right. I'm sure every situation is different, obviously, mm-hmm. re- in regards to the, the, the extremes of whatever the scenario is. But what kind of time frame are you referring to in regards to letting them... Mm-hmm. Letting um, them or letting you guys, however you want to word it, right. fix said situation. Mm-hmm. If it's like, yo, this this overly possessiveness, this checking mm-hmm. up on me, whatever, whatever. When when all right, okay, you got cheated on. Yeah, I yeah. get that. We're, we're we're a year in. We're a year in, and, and you're still tripping, and, and you're still fucking bothering <laughs> me while I'm doing poker with the fellas <laughs> right. every goddamn Friday night. You know I'll be home at one. Right. Like, like you know, right? What's the time frame? <clears throat> 
Um, Cause I'm I'm like Bow. Yeah 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 that's, that's funny <laughs> No that's a great question And also The quicker Like let's Let's be honest here We're not about The person you fuck with more You're gonna give more Um more benefit that you're gonna give them of a course, little more time. Of course, of damn, course. She's dope. You fuck with them. Yeah, she's yeah, dope in yeah, so many yeah, ways. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you gonna get makes more it harder. <laughs> makes it worse. You gonna get more leeway. Yeah, for sure. Yes. So more so, I think it's more of a number of times. It depends how frequently and all that shit happens, right? If, if it's every right. time, if it's you know. So I don't know if I could put like an actual like oh yo two months in or six months in, but I think I can put more of a like yo if it's happened the last five times you've gone out for the sake of this example, then. Um, you you you've been had that tough conversation. Then it's time. So it's just the frequency. Which it, yeah, it, and that's a great way to answer it because when the frequency becomes a pattern, right? Mm -hmm. Exit stage left. Yeah, learning that you can't change people is so important and. It's tough because I'm the type I love. But it's the, difficult, I, Lex. I, it's so bro, difficult. I love receiving game and figuring out how I can better myself. And then once I receive that information, I love right away. I get some stuff. I internalize and I'm right away like, who, who can, damn, this is, boom. So especially if it's a, the person that I love, I'm going to try to um, put that to them. But you can't change them. They say be a light, not a judge. Be that light. You're not judging them. You shed the light. And you, But um, if, they, if they're not going to see the light, you can't force them. And that's just huge for me. Energy, focus, weight loss, recovery. All the things that you need to be able to live a very healthy and productive life. But what if we could be able to offer you all of these things in the comfort and convenience of your home? Flueless Mobile Wellness is the company that would be able to make all of those dreams come true. With enough energy and focus, all of your dreams will become a reality. We are here to serve. All right, so you mentioned judging, right? And, and I have a, a certain way about judging in regards to like, I, th I think people abuse it too much, but we, we don't got to go into my opinion about that. You're being judged right now, without a doubt. All right, everybody watching, listen, they're gonna judge you right now. You ain't lying. They're, they're computing everything. Thirty-one year old Lex, da da boom, ba ba ba. Guarantee you, one of the things that they're asking right now is, why is he with his girlfriend? What happened? Mm -hmm. We don't want to mention her. We don't want anything like that. Mm -hmm. Just a mutual thing. What was the fallout there? Mm -hmm. Just didn't work. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think, especially in that situation. Tr when I told you off and on, off and on, and I, why I feel so at peace is because, like, we tried. You know what I'm saying? When you care about somebody, you're going to try. You know, so I have no regrets in that situation. But, yeah, wasn't getting along. Some things didn't see the, see the same way. But there wasn't nothing big that happened either, say, either way. There was no cheating. There was nothing like that. Okay. It was just, um, yeah, inconsiderable differences. Um, Are you guys and, still cool? Uh, yeah, for sure. Like, if I were to call, i call. But I think right now is nice. Uh, silence is, is golden for now, but okay. for sure. But, yeah, I mean, you know, this is, this is we care about each other for sure. So. Okay, so that, that mm. goes good. All right, so you mentioned earlier that you were on a uh, TV series, a, <laughs> yeah. a, what do you call it? A reality show. Reality show, show right. right? Sheesh. What was it called? <laughs> uh, uh, Temptation Island. Temptation, Temptation Island. Island. Season three. Oh of God. Season three. I remember when the first one came out. Right. I had to do my research when I was going on the show because I was like, I heard there was an old one. Yeah. And, and I was like, yo, TV's turning up. Mm -hmm. They're showing all this sexual shit. These Dude. people hooking up behind behind <laughs> each other's couples, significant do you know, others. Do you know the present, uh, like the, do you know like the show, like that dynamic of it or whatever? Uh, um. I'll just I'll just swing for the fences really quick. Yeah. Uh, the couples go on there because they're 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 second guessing pretty much. They're, they're second guessing their relationship. Are we really meant for each other? Da, 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 for whatever <laughs> reason they have, and then is this is this what broke y'all up? Hell no! Oh my god! I don't know if that was, <laughs> I don't know if that was figuring that out on know. the fly. Mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> that, that would have been great, right? That would have right? happened live. <laughs> but. Yeah, and then they go there, and then basically you get tempted by, you get to pick each other's thing. It's, it's, listen, I'm not going to lie to you, it was a very entertaining show mm -hmm. at the time. I don't allow myself to consume that type of stuff now, but I can see where entertainment is at, especially with the type of shit we're talking about right now. Most if definitely. you can tune into it and be like, if you don't think it's fucking stage, if you don't think it's amplified, we're like, okay, I need you to go kiss her. I need you to not get that mad because we need this content. If, if we believe that and it's legit, it's entertaining. It's wild. It's like, yo, mm -hmm. how could he do that? How could she do that? Whatever, whatever. Anyhow, yeah, no. tell us about it, bro. Give us a short, a short yeah. riff about it. No, how that I mean, went. I mean, you nailed it pretty, pretty solid. Is you know, the premise of the show is four couples, twelve single guys, twelve single girls. The four wifed up dudes lived in a house with twelve single girls. The four wifed up girls lived in a house <laughs> with us twelve single guys. I was casted as a single. I would never in my 
life bring my chick on there? Um, that was the first question we were asked in all of our interviews. You, would you bring your girl here? Would you? <laughs> no. <laughs> but um, so but, you on a chopping block all the time. Like. Yes, and the and the girls eliminate you, and the guys eliminate the girls in the other Ooh. house. And there's also <laughs> gut check. There's also something called a bonfire. So like every three or four days, they would like show the significant other in the other home on like an iPad. Yeah, and he had to look they, at it. What they were doing over right. there, and now you can act out of spite. And oh, you know what? Fuck her. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna do me. Yeah, do, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know exactly. That was a common thread. Here, here comes the toxic. Yes, <laughs> but that's that tip for tat life, you know. Um, but no, the show it was. I mean, it was a blast experience. I got I got to understand how TV works, which I never knew. And it was we shot it during the pandemic, so um, it was different. It was a challenge for sure. Trying to we were like the guinea pig show to see if like Hollywood could do TV during mm. the pandemic. Like our show was that. So um, there was a lot of restrictions. It was a little different. You know, we were in a bubble. But um, we were in Maui, Hawaii. It was beautiful. Um, I got to meet some dudes. We're hilarious. You know, how'd you, how'd you get the, that opportunity? You they had reached out. You had no, run. no, they reached out. They reached out. Really? They, yeah, they have found me. They reached out to me. Um, and I just like entertained it. Yeah, sure. Why not? And then uh, it's the mixed breed green eyes, you <laughs> motherfucker. Bro, I mean, I, bro, I, I did. Is I, I was like, yeah, whatever. I didn't, you know, not thinking much of it. And I'm in the pandemic. Everyone's at home, so I got the time. All right, fuck it. I was never like, oh, I want to be a reality TV star. Like, not at okay. all. But. They reached out and then um yeah you do a Zoom or a Skype interview and then you do a tech and a third you keep making it next thing I knew I was on a plane to L A and a big um the like the final interview and the, with all the big Hollywood producers and I just told myself I'm like bro I'm gonna just walk in big energy and rock this shit right right so like you know it was all day thing all kind of, you have to take tests psychological tests they can't put like insane people on TV all it's a whole process y'all if you ever want to know how let me uh it's free game but. Anyway, um, yeah, so I was like, I'm going to just walk in there, big energy. So I walked in. It's exactly what y'all think, like a round table of like 15 big producers and um, yeah, big Hollywood execs or whatever. And um, I just walked in like, what's popping, y'all? Like big energy, like what's going on? They're like, why are you so happy and smiley? And I was like, why not? Life is good. And then they were like, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. And we just chopped it up real quick. It was a few minutes. And then and there was like, yeah, you uh, you going to uh, Temptation Island. So I did it. So it was... um. It was definitely a dope experience. A bunch of stuff happened on the show, but it was a. Uh, you told it was dope. You, you told people uh, if they want to mm -hmm. hear details about it, reach out to you, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought about your your handle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so your handle. So guys, Lex's handle on Instagram is Leche Life, <laughs> and Leche Life. Uh, all I can do is fucking. Uh, 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 Traducilo. All I can do is is your mind in the gutter. Let's tell you tell you that it means milk and life. Life milk, milk light. Leche is 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 milk to Latinos. Uh, so leche life. How the fuck did that come and why? Um, Don't so, tell me you used to raise cows and all no, that no, shit. No, not bro. at all. No. So growing up, so I mean, I grew up in Miami. A lot of Hispanic friends in the culture, whatever. I was a soccer player, so that's why you all don't put quito español. And, right. um, and everybody used to call me Café con Leche On the field, whatever Café con ah. Leche, Café con Leche I'm half black, half white Soy mulado And then, um, and then yeah just Leche just stuck one day Everybody started saying it And then um, and then yeah Just roll with it Leche life I, I used to be young Leche And then I, I switched to the Leche I'm life. sure you got some type of hell from that from Oh, I where? mean whenever I meet Especially if I meet a Hispanic woman And I'm out right. so She'll be digging me And then I say She see my IG she, Leche life I'm like Tranquila, mami <laughs> 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 All right, so we were circling back to I seen a video that where you went to a school. Or mm -hmm. I think it was a school. I'm assuming it was a school. Uh, so it was a nonprofit organization. Okay, um, dope. Shout out to my man Christian who manages it. And yeah, basically, um, they help underprivileged kids um, with education and all sorts of stuff. People who can't afford it, so they offer that service for free. Um, to to the kids and then and they teach them all kinds of stuff after school program and they have uh, K through twelve yeah so uh, yeah that was awesome so it's really a nonprofit not necessarily a school but um, they teach them all kinds of stuff and just kind of get them prepared for life so I'm sure you had a lot of great things to say but the clip that I saw you were definitely talking about you know the influencers I know we touched about it earlier mm -hmm. um, what Order. exactly were you telling them in regards to something that you sh you felt strong about what what was that yeah. main point that you were saying and you know I want people to hear it see whether yeah. or not they agree with it. Yeah, no, I mean, my thing in general, man, the youth, their mind is so impressionable, bro, on, on everything they consume and in this social media world is crazy. And I'm born and raised here in Miami, um, especially with my lifestyle, within the industry I'm in. Um, what I see, I, I know it firsthand. The the fakeness of social media, the facade world that um, that 
everybody gets sucked into it. And it's just sad. It's sad to see a lot of these kids on their screens all day just just wishing a life of stuff that's that's not real, you know. And I, I think a lot of us know that, but it's important to not only get that message out to a lot of people our age as well, but to the youth, it's more important because they will grow up really, you know. So I really was trying to um, instill that in them and let them know, yo, you can use social media, have fun, use it to network, use it for business, use it to keep in touch with your friends. Do it, But do not think for one second and, and feel down about down upon yourself for some fake life that you're seeing that you think is real and that appears real because for the most part it's not you know so that was just important for me to get across and I think for a lot of them it resonated at least the vibe I got in the room I told you earlier when, when we first had our quick powwow before we started recording I said hey I don't even want to ask you what do you do right I want to do it live I don't know what you do I want to do that. it live so you just mentioned especially in the industry that you're in what is this industry that you're in? Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so <clears throat> yeah, so I'm a business owner. I own um, a hospitality company entitled Leche Life Entertainment. Um, we focus on, we're basically a one-stop shop luxury company and anything you need in the industry. I started with mainly yacht charters, so I have over 70 yachts direct owner. I run out a lot of boats, and then um, I transitioned into everything, a one-stop shop. So I have luxury villas for rent. I have um, condos. We have exotic vehicles. We have transportation, limousines, um, anything you could think of in the industry in um, in the city of Miami. You know, we could provide for you. Um, and yeah, I've just spent years building it up. So I've really seen a lot of that fake stuff firsthand in, in that lifestyle. So what you just saw all these kind of like wannabe influencers like struggle trying to rent you, your shit, trying to get oh you, convince you to give it to them for free. Because I seen that shit on the internet where uh, people got called out. Uh, fuck, who was it? Uh, I, I can't even say the names because I don't know their names, but. Influencers would be like, hey, you should be letting me rent this for free oh, because, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I got 100,000 followers got, or whatever. I, I get that all the time. Influencers reach out to me and they'll ask me for for, for assets and what, and then, then later on they try to squeeze. I mean, and if you can get that deal, by all means, go ahead. But I tell them, I say, my owner's like cash, man. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it's what it is. So, but no, as far as the fake lifestyle, just in everything. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm not, it's funny. It's funny now that I'm like legitimate with my company. I'm not outside like I was when I was younger. I'm more behind the scenes booking stuff, making sure clients is good. I have, you know, a team of promoters who are out there handling everybody. But um, when I was in it, I see it. You know, even when you're not, you're right here next to, you know, your favorite NFL athlete, you're here right here next to your favorite rapper. And then here you see somebody who <laughs> acting like they got it. Well, you know, they don't. Um, and then in the and then the promoter world, a lot of those promoters, um, not talking down on promoters at all. I got to love them that I love. But a lot of them, they get consumed with that lifestyle, which is why I never wanted to be in it like that. I always wanted to create own business where I could be behind the scenes. If I want to go step outside and network with people, I can. But um, that shit consumes you in Miami. Right. And you have to put on a facade. And uh, I'm not with that. <laughs> so, with that said, a lot of these females think that uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to. I guess I need to say this correctly so I don't get too much backlash. Hey, bro, keep it real. You know, the wrong ones. I'm gonna call them that. But unfortunately, there's a lot of them. They won't get. A, they won't get offended if it don't apply. There you go. And let's get back to that. Um, you know, they 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 have false expectations and and and. Fellas, ladies, chime in. Chime in, goddamn it. Mm. Tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. They have false expectations of what they think uh, uh, that man is that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. Now, shout out to um, Fit and what was it called? The Fresh and Fit Podcast. Fresh and Fit Podcast. Shout out to, damn, I can't say her name. Pearl. Pearl, Pearly. Mm -hmm. uh, Pearl, I call her Pearl. Her name is Pearl, but it's called Pearly something. Uh, they got they got great podcasts. They interview a lot of women. They talk about a lot of feminism. They talk about a lot of uh, misconstrued beliefs between women and female, uh, women and men, right. and so on and so forth. Well, the com one of the common most common senses is you know the the expectations of women, what women want. <clears throat> what 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 would you like? What would you like if there are right. seven or better? Though they would never believe <laughs> there are seven. They're always going to think they're right. at minimum eight, nine, or ten. If they're a seven or better, they automatically believe, oh, I, I got to have a six foot two, <clears throat> tall, dark, and handsome. He's got to make at least about 150, maybe 200, because <laughs> 150 sounds cheap. And this and this, and they put they lay it all out. And a lot of these podcasts and a lot of these people like Pearl and, and, and uh, Myron on right. from, from Fit, um, they know the statistics. I don't. I don't let myself get you know uh, too involved in it. But it's so far-fetched. It's absolutely so far-fetched mm. in regards to 
that man that would exist to have make that amount of money, so right. on and so forth. Percentiles even literally below one. I remember yeah. this one lady said, he better make at least four hundred grand, be six foot or better, um, and so on and so forth. And there's a there's a program out there, a software program that you put that out there and it gives you the most accurate uh, assessment of how many men this is and that, blah, 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 blah. How do you feel about that? One from your experience, two, yeah. you know, being involved in everything. Yeah, what's, yeah. what's your take on that? No, I love that question. Um, and it's w one of my main messages. It's not just it's not just to women, it's to men, it's to everybody. And what I always view is manage your expectations. I'm not here to tell you what to want. I'm not here to tell you what to like. I'm not here to tell you what range of man to go for. I'm not here to tell you what bad bitch you want. That's all that is fine and dandy. What I'm here to say is manage your expectations as far as with how you act and what you do. And what that will attract and what will happen with that. You can, you know, I, I, I'm not here to tell anybody what to do or how to live. So I think, I think that's a distinction um, for me, myself, that I notice that I have with a lot of these other people who speak on it because they make good points, but they, they continuously try to badger into telling somebody what to do. Like, I'll never do that. You are grown. We are grown adults. Do what you want. Live your life. So in terms of some of the examples you gave, yeah, I mean, your expectations have to be managed. You can want all that, but it's, it, that's just a fairy tale. So it, it, I shouldn't say it's a fairy tale. It, it's not as likely as it should be. And a lot of the messages that they try to, that they try to, you know, give back is, uh, if you, if you want that, that's okay. But then be prepared to do X, Y, Z. A lot of people, um, they want their cake and eat it too. And the world just don't work like that, bro. You right. know what I'm saying? And people, right. pe people have the game fucked up, but I'm, I'm, I'm literally here to tell people, manage your expectations. You can want, want what you want, but it comes, it comes with something. You can't have both. <clears throat> I want to give a homegirl a shout out of mine, uh, uh, Priscilla. We had a long talk. I'm, I know she'll be watching. Yeah. We had a long talk. I was trying to get her to get on the podcast with her, with her with her friend. Two little shy motherfucking bunnies. I don't know whatever they want to consider, <laughs> but you know they, she has such a great opinion. She really does. She has a great opinion. I believe she's uh, your age. She's thirty two. Got a great boyfriend. A lot of good things going for her. I would have loved her opinion. She's got a, a, a kid. Okay. That she brought her into a relationship with with Buddy. He, he took her in. They've been together for two years. Now, I don't want to say took her in like she was fucking homeless or anything, but right. accepted the daughter, you know, um, at a young age. That's very difficult for a man to Not do. Not for sure. Not good for him. So, you got a good thing going on. She's she got these opinions. Well, I want to ask your opinion on it, right? So, she had posted something, and I reacted to it with, with laughter. Laughter, right? So, the... the <laughs> It was it was it looked like a newscaster. It looked real, all right. And the newscaster was a female. And the newscaster said, "On today's news, women are telling the world to fuck off. Stop judging them for their um, stop judging them for their emotional roller coasters running on their period. Stop judging them for gaining weight after a pregnancy. Stop judging them. And they just they just you know dialed upon things that women go through. Right. So I put the laughing emoji when I did that. <laughs> she got." Well, no, she didn't get hot, but I, first of all, what went through my mind was, God damn, this shit's out of line, bro. That, right. that, 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 this, I just can't believe that. It's such a joust. It's such a battle right now in regards mm. to men and women and who's calling out who and yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's crazy because I feel like, yo, suck it up, buttercup, and that's to anybody. Dude, female, it doesn't matter. Like, yo, why, why are you posting everything? Like, why mm -hmm. not just, yeah, yeah. just deal with it? Build a bridge and deal with it or walk away from it mm -hmm. or just understand that this is how the world is, whatever, whatever. That's just me being a little bit too tough, whatever, whatever. Yeah. I laughed at it like, you know, that was it. She came back at me with, LOL, wait a minute. Are you laughing at the end where the lady said, um, <laughs> everybody has an asshole, you know, and they all smell like shit, yeah, you know, like an opinion, right. whatever? Or are you laughing at the whole thing? I don't get it. And I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck? What, I, feel like, I feel like she's dissecting. What? Well, yeah, exactly. So I came back at her, LOL. I was like, yo, don't come at me with that reverse psychological bullshit. I'm mm -hmm. just laughing. Yeah, I know, but what are you laughing at? I'm like, what the fuck? She's being for real. She wanted to talk. Yeah, so I'm like, man, I'm not going to text her. out. So I sent her voice messages. So we went back and forth on voice messages. And I heard what she was trying to say. But back to your opinion on it. Yeah. Those topics, right? Do you feel like women are overplaying those uh, those realistic situations that do occur in regards to periods and acting very emotional, mm -hmm. gaining weight, uh, whether it's excessive or not? You know, mm -hmm. she had a great point that I give her that she told me about 
how some women do gain extra weight and there's no avoiding it. And I didn't know that, right? Right. And um, you know, like you got a little lazy eye over there, like, oh boy. No, 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 no. Like, you know, like that's what they be saying. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to argue it. When it gets medical, when it gets scientific, I'm not gonna argue it. But are women overplaying that in your opinion? And or if so, how should a man address that? And especially at your age, when when you're gonna start dealing with you mm. might you might get a, a a female with a kid already, mm. or you're in that young age where you got a you got a woman who wants to have a kid, and you love her and it's great. Might have been the ex, and then she has a kid, and then all this excess weight and everything is, and you don't want to be inconsiderate. You don't want to tell her, hey, it's been over a year. Yeah, 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 no, for sure. And, and you're you're seventy pounds heavier than than, <laughs> than when I met you. This is becoming a little bit difficult. What do mm-hmm. you feel about that? No, I mean, I think. Open communication and really letting somebody know. I'm not a sugarcoat person. Mm. It's something that I really. There you go. Uh, it's, something, it's something that I really had to learn um, because I'm. I've always been direct, and there's two sides to it. There's a way of delivering the message, and and that's some important. A lot, a lot of dudes don't have emotional. Yes, intelligence. yes, yes. Lot, you gotta I, deliver it well. Yeah, a, a lot of dudes are like, "Yo, you look like a fat bitch. Like you can't do that, you know." And then she's hurt, and she goes and tell her friends, and now her friends hate you, and you're a piece of shit. And so it's a it, it, it's just vicious cycle we live in, but. If you feel some type of way, speak on it because there's two sides. A lot of dudes don't know how to d- deliver a you know, message when, they, when they're not feeling the way it's going. They're not feeling whether it's how you look or your emotional state. Yo, you're being too reactive right now. Hey, you know, hey, hey, we need to talk about it. A lot of dudes don't know how to address that. So I think that's important. And I hold both sides accountable. But um, on the male side in that situation, you need to know how to deliver a message. But at the same time, on the flip side, this is what I think is key. Guys don't like conflict. They don't want headaches. A lot of times dudes, a lot of dudes I know, let shit slide because they don't want the headache of the argument with their girl. See, this is great. I'm glad you're mm-hmm. saying this. Yeah, yeah. Um, don't make yourself an angel. Do you feel yeah. like that as well? Do I feel like what? What you just said. A lot of guys don't oh, want the headache. No, no, no. For sure. I know that. I know that. You know what I'm saying? Fine. But do you, are you like do, that? Am I like that? Um, I've learned to pick and choose you're, my, you're, you're, okay. I've, I've learned, I've learned to pick and choose my battles. I think at times I've, but I've learned from experience. There's been times I've been like, oh, let me just leave that. And then if it eats you up inside later, it's like. You got nobody to blame but yourself. This person did not know you needed to have a conversation with her, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that I, with age, you know, you learn with experience. Because back when I was 25, it was just like, nah, fuck that, you know. But not at all. Some things, yo, it ain't her fault. She didn't know. Um, and same thing with chicks. Yo, it's not his fault, you know. So have them uncomfortable conversations. If something's wrong, learn how to deliver it. Know your partner. Learn if she's a little reactive, come on gentle. Hey, my love. You know, you've been super reactive lately. I know how you get maybe around that time of the month. Hey, I noticed you're catching yourself slipping. I still love you. I still think you're beautiful. What can we do? Like, let's figure it out. As opposed to like, hey, bro. You're fire right now, yeah, bro. Yeah. I hope fellas are listening click, to click, this. because click, click your fire emojis. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Like, no, but you're, you're, you're hitting on the money, homie. Like, yeah. you really are because... That is the way to present it. Okay, I, I will come back to like, damn, why do we always got to sugarcoat shit for the, for the ladies? Right. But... It is what it is, mm. especially if they're going through a, a, a sensitive, emotional mm. you know, imbalance of hormones that we cannot relate to. We don't go through that. So we should know that that does occur mm. and we should do what you're saying. But damn, you're really laying it out yeah. perfectly because that is how you should do like, it. Like I said, more often than not, bro, Like I love this because we can go back to this central theme throughout this whole pod is balance. It's never, people are going to come to you with their- Nailed ex- it, bro. The, balance. Pe- people are going to come to you with their extreme- um, um, side of you and it doesn't mean that they're wrong it's just that it's normally somewhere in the middle it's not all the time so it's it's not that like sometimes you're right yo I am tired of having a sugarcoat shit for you man like this is what it is girl like the, yo or like the same thing if, if the dude you know like ladies we know how fragile the male ego is they don't want to hear certain things and we know that that is a fact so so sometimes ladies are tired of tiptoeing around and not not saying what they really want to say because they know it's going to hurt their man ego or this dude or whatever but sometimes if it's bothering you say it speak up on it I'm big on that too many people let shit lie under the rug they let that shit eat at them and then they explode later and it's not it is not they fault. Even if what you're saying is valid, you should have communicated that. So it's let's find a balance, man. Do, do you think, I co- completely agree with you 100%, but yeah. do you think that the women might be disregarding our feelings in regards to how our ego is challenged so easily, especially when they... Oh, yeah. Like, I get it. You know how men can be insensitive to certain things, like what we just mentioned, the periods, you know, the, the, mm-hmm. the weight gains, the whatevers. Right. But it's not a competition, but... The, 
do you really feel like, hey, women, I know we've been macho man for so fucking long and we've been caveman for so long, but guess what? We're emotional too. Mm -hmm. We got testosterone running through our veins and we don't know how to control that energy we're trying to. And mm -hmm. when you challenge us on how the sex life is, how, how, how our body oh, you know, yeah. is, how, how we handle a situation when you compare us to like, am I being man enough? Dude? Am I making enough money? Am I providing enough? Oh, no, yeah, for is, sure. is, is that out of hand more than ever in your opinion well, being well, in your age bracket I think I think, um, I think when it comes as far as a woman challenging a man's ego I think it's intentional for sure um, and the reason really? I say that oh no no for sure because women aren't stupid I think they're very smart creatures they know what's going on but they are very emotional so when they're upset when something's been killing them they mean, and they snap or they say they know it's gonna push your butt you know what I'm saying like, I get it you, I get what you're like, saying yo, it, makes sense you don't even make X amount a month yo you didn't you ain't even hit me right you you think oh, oh, oh. it's a real vicious yeah, fucking move oh, oh no it's vicious for sure which which many can be you know what I mean but um and that's the name of the game. I'm I'm big on holding everybody accountable. Like if that's who she is and that's who she is, then it's up, then it's up to you, dude. Like you can stay with that person. You can tell them, hey, that hurt. Hey, let me keep it real with you. I love you. That hurt my feelings. <laughs> you know, men, stop being too scared to say you got your feelings hurt. Yo, if it did, then say it. And you know, because if it wasn't intentional, maybe she wasn't aware and she was used to the last eight guys before that never expressed their feelings. So when she might not be used to that, and now she gets a dude that is. Let her know, yo, that was that was a little out of pocket for me. It, and you're gonna get two reactions. It's gonna be, if I went there, my apologies, baby. I just wanted to get this message across. I got you. Or it's man the fuck up, da 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 da, da and now the ball's in your court. So let's so let's so let's let, let's a little just let's just side with the women for a little mm -hmm. bit. Would mm -hmm. you say that men are not opening up enough? Are <clears throat> you saying that they're they're feeling too much societal pressures Oof. where they're not? I mean, I, we, don't, we don't we don't we we don't want to give and I, and I'm not even attacking the women. We don't want to give the women a loose leash where it's like, nah, nah, you know this, this and that. No, yeah. let, let me let me try to help them out a little bit. Do they have the right to say like, well, goddamn, if you motherfuckers would just. <laughs> Push the ego aside. Stop thinking about your boy. Stop right. thinking about blah blah blah, and open up. Yeah, you know, my bad. I would be, I would be more understanding. Yeah, yeah. So let, let's put a little bit of pressure on the guys, right? Are they not no, opening up enough? No, no, should, for, should we ask uh, them to open up no, more? No, for sure. I think. I mean, I think. I think both with men and women, we have every right to say on how we feel. We need to speak on that more. Like we said before, the delivery is important. So, um, I think. I think as far as we have, we have every right, and I think not only is it necessary, I think it's imperative, bro. Like we have to speak on stuff. It's like men, if you're not happy with what she's doing and, and or women if you're not happy with how he's acting then speak on that but um yeah i think women let's encourage your man to drop that ego it's not your job to baby him but some dudes ain't used to that let him know it's okay make him feel comfortable because Ooh. dudes are not used to this bro they're not they want to appear macho because they know bro come on like you you women women want a man they don't want no little boy women want somebody to take control women want somebody to you know you know you know, come pick me up at eight but you know you you let them know what the plans are and they ooh <laughs> so that like that's important but let's meet halfway let let you know let's make it easy and the same thing vice versa bro like it's the same thing it's just an open communication thing and i think everyone's scared from their scarred from their past shit and it's like if you want it speak on it you hit it hard you work out hard but do you recover as hard as your exercises recovery is the number one thing that keeps most athletes from reaching the next level. Here at Flueless Mobile Wellness, we want to help you become the animal, the champion, the winner that you are. Recover right. Recover with Flueless Mobile Wellness. All right, so Lex, you, you mentioned something perfect, right? You're talking about the men aren't opening up enough, in my opinion. You said that in a very nice, cordial way. It's not like you're not calling them out. You're not calling anybody out. And that's right. and I love that because you said earlier, one of our key points tonight is balance. Because that's true, bro. I, I, I hope mm. everybody remembers that from here on out. Damn near everything you fucking do in life mm. needs to have balance. You ain't lying. Like, that's it. Whenever Think about whatever issue you're going on through life, people. If, if there's something wrong going out, put that shit on a beam. See what side is weighing more. Why is it in balance? Fix that part. Mm -hmm. Balance it. And life's going to be a lot better. So you mentioned balance, right? Okay. These women, we got to think about how difficult it is to deal with a man. 
Right. An alpha man, some <laughs> lion of a bear of a fucking whatever man and and our egos and we're supposed to be the breadwinners and the this and the that and mm-hmm. you know and and I, and I do want to touch up on feminism later mm-hmm. but I want to side with the women. It's hard to deal with us. As well as if we're going to side with the men, it's hard to deal with them. It's hard to deal with us to a certain extent. I don't think we make it as easy as it could be for them or easier than what it is now. Mm -hmm. I don't think men do. I think that our egos, our upbringing is what we've been taught, that caveman, that fucking the man of the house, you know. We haven't haven't pulled away from that enough. And this is why we have this weird, controversial Mm -hmm. bullshit going on. But let's help these women out a little bit. You, you're, you're great with your advice, bro. You, you're spitting some real fire here, man. I, I, I give you it, mad props on it, man. That's how I feel, bro. <laughs> Let's help the women out. Talk to the ladies. How do they approach <laughs> an, an alpha male, a, 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 a very enclosed, won't open up ass dude, a, a motherfucker who doesn't even realize that his, his ego is holding him back from being a better man. Right. How do these women, instead of insulting them, breaking them down, Jumping the gun, mm-hmm. exiting out of the relationship too soon, right. or, or getting dick on the side, or whatever. <laughs> how do how do they handle that type of situation? What would you advise them? Uh, that's a a wonderful question, bro. Um, again, balance. I think this is important. This is for and this answer, ladies. This goes to people who are dealing with the dude that they already dig that they're fucking with. They have other qualities okay. that that they know they like. Because if it's just some random dude who you don't even fuck with like that and he just has a different, big ego, different, right, it's right, right. different. You're not going to be patient. You're not going to give him the time. Don't put all that energy into that. Don't do that, yeah, ladies. Yeah, roll the dice now. Ladies, it has to be somebody who you're already fucking with then you notice this is an issue. This might be somebody who, damn, he has family values. This might be somebody who's hilarious right, and right. keeps you laughing. This might be you Again, know, put, somebody. Put, put it on the balance beam. Put it right, on the balance beam. It has beam. to, and, and, and knowing your deal breakers, what's big for you, what's not. There right? you go. So if, if they meet certain requirements, and you're not just trying to run. Don't just run. Stop listening to your favorite influencers. Like, oh, just break up with him. No. If they they meet certain base level requirements, okay. But he has a big ego. But he's not opening up. But he's not um, being sensitive. There has to be a way. It, and it's not an excuse. Men, figure it the fuck out, number one. Because it's not the lady's job to sit here and, and fucking... Facts. And, 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 Facts. And, 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 you're a fucking man. You, yeah. You want to you be an alpha male and be an alpha male, number one. Like, But it also comes with... Learn how to have emotional tones and express yourself. Ladies, make it easy on some of these guys a little bit. Ask them questions. Ask them how they feel and let them know it's okay to open up. And when they do, watch your response and your reaction. Because what I find happens often is maybe maybe a woman will do that with a man they fucking with, right? Where she, um, you know, what, yo, what's, hey, what's going on? I noticed you acting a little bit different, baby. Or like, hey, da, da, da. And then he's like... Oh, okay, she asked. I, you know, and then maybe does express himself that one time, and get, and then he gets shitted on, or then and th- then the woman didn't like what she heard because maybe it was something critical about what she's doing and how she's acting, and then she reacts. And she's very reactive as opposed to really listening, really hearing. And then what is the dude gonna do? Never gonna open up again, bro. So let me interrupt you. All right, let, let, mm-hmm. let's let's. I, I fucking hate trying to say this word for some reason. Mm-hmm. I don't say it uh, fluidly. Mm-hmm. Let's compartmentalize. This. No, you you nailed that. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, you you did. say it the right way, fluidly. You, uh, compartmentalize. See, I can't say that. Compartmentalize. Yeah, that, okay, I just did right now. All right, let's mm-hmm. compartmentalize this. Right. First off, <laughs> defusing the situation. Give them one, an approach. Mm-hmm. Because okay, first first and foremost, let me let me take the ball and then I'm gonna hand it off to you. First and foremost, height. I'm the quarterback. Before I hand it off I, to you, I, for the I, touchdown. I love sports analogies, man. There you Give go. All right. So first. Ladies, don't act out of emotion. And that's not just for the ladies, that's for anybody. Jeez. The better you control your emotions before you act, talk to them. The better reaction you're going to get. Let's you you remember, remember guys, emotions cloud judgment. It doesn't matter what you can be so madly in love, that's an emotion, and if it clouds you too much, you're going to fall, you're going to fail to see that this guy <laughs> doesn't uh, 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 deserve your loving that, that he's cheating That he's this and that So let's keep Man, those things in mind Emotions cloud judgment So Boom Hike the ball Quarterback Alright here we go Ladies Control the emotions And make sure that When you approach this guy With What Lex is gonna give y'all Do it From a perspective Where you're not emotionally Connected to it In other words Understand that if you just Act out of emotions And mm. say What the fuck is wrong with you 
Like you never tell me shit. Right. Like you don't. You, like look at you. You're freezing up right now. Like what? What? Do, do you dizzy? That is not gonna well, control the emotions. And then boom, I'm hiding the ball off. Take right. it. Well, and and this is important. I'm glad you went there. It goes in general for both ladies and men. When you ask a question, when you're trying to find out, somebody's been acting different. Somebody's been acting weird, and you want to figure out what it is. Seek to understand before being understood. Too Ooh. many, too many people. We all want to be heard so bad, or natural, naturally as humans, we want to be heard. Can we, we repeat that? That's yeah. a T-shirt. Oh yeah, right no, that's a big one. No, I got it. Say it again. I, yeah, Say I, got it again. It a, I got it in a book, and I love it. Seek to understand before being understood. Ooh. Seek first love to it. understand, and it's so important because you you might think you did your job because it's like, yo, he's acting funny. I'm gonna ask him what's up. That is step one. Kudos, props to you. You need to. Uh, you saw something. Uh, you saw a deviation in behavior, so you wanted to address it. Perfect. You know. But what is your intention behind asking the question? Because a lot of people ask, and they they're waiting so f- much for just they, to fire for, back, for, yeah. to fire back, fire for back the, for they turn for they turn. As opposed to, can I shut the fuck up and really Take understand, it all in. really understand what's wrong with this man? What's been you know what's been going on? And the same thing, vice versa. We all right. we're combative right. by nature. Where we're trying to find yeah, the flaw this, in their this argument. This applies universally. Yeah, universally for sure. So um and and. And how you react so much dictates the future because if you're reactive, if you're not really seeking to really understand somebody and you want to give your counterpoint and then he's going to draw back, she's going to draw back and they never going to express themselves again. So seek to really understand somebody. Wait, let me shut up. Wait, he's acting this way because what did I do? Okay, I haven't been listening to him or I've been this or I, but whatever, whatever the case may be. But I think that's first key to the ladies and to the men, to everybody. Seek to understand first because how you handle, how you react to somebody who's speaking on how they feel will dictate if they ever going to speak to you and open up to you again because now the next eight months of your relationship is people being uptight and not really talking about how they feel. You know what I'm saying? And people think, oh, this is just emotional feelings, bullshit. This shit is everything. Okay, so <laughs> we said we're going to compartmentalize. Okay, mm-hmm. I, I think I almost hit it. <laughs> we said we're going to do that. All right, so part two, and you again, you're a fucking ace at this you led right into it organically now those few guys i say few a little loosely it's a lot more guys than what we get credit to but those guys who right. do open up when they do mm-hmm. who do get a little bit uh i don't right. want to say emotional on the negative side but more so on the like they opened up you know mm-hmm. the, the guard went down mm-hmm. when they have been whatever ridicule when, when the reaction was negative Right when 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 there was ridicule, when there was a, a testing of ego, when there was all that, yeah. The bounce back from that for a guy is 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 it's like I'm almost getting tense up th- thinking about it. Yeah. Though it hasn't really happened to me, but I know the feeling. Mm-hmm. It's just, when you feel it, tried, it, when you feel like they tried your manhood. Da, da, da. Yeah, you're like you're like yo, you have no idea. I can't tell you this, but bitch, right. that's the <laughs> first time I opened up yeah, like yeah, that, sure. and you just called me all kinds of pussies and confused mm-hmm. and this and well, that, and I've never opened up like that. Well, 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 bro, this is what I'll say. Like, because accountability is everything. We can't get mad at. Like we don't get mad at the ladies for being too reactive and emotional and then do the same exact thing. We're humans. You're gonna Great feel, call. Great you're, call. You're going to feel some type of way. You have every right to feel some type of way. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying when you snap it and going crazy and out of control, yeah. you have to try to- Two negatives you don't have, make a positive. You have to c- try to control that also. And then the other thing I'll say, and you tell me what you think about this, bro- Everybody ain't for everybody. It's okay to say like I love you, but you you just ain't for me, bro. <laughs> you know what 100%, I'm saying? Yeah. And I and and, uh, in other words, stop stop with the sugar coat. Yeah. Get get to it a little bit. Get yeah. To it. And, but look, but even that mm-hmm. delivery mm-hmm. is better than what I think the average delivery would. Which be. Which is what? What do you think? Oh man, I don't know. Uh, some people are just saying it different. A lot of times when when a lot of times like insulting or like the, you're 31, you got homeboys, mm-hmm. you got brothers, you got this, you got that. Right. How many dudes do you know that told their lady, mm-hmm. "Hey, hey, listen, you know what? Uh, we don't even need to do this. The truth is, it's just, I don't. I just don't think we you know we're fit for each other. You know, <laughs> the, like a real respectful, like you know, we we started arguing, but with this, but with that, but here we are, and then it just woof. It doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. It's always emotionally involved. It, oh, there's, yeah, just, for sure. there's always just like they never say. I just don't think that you're the one for me and we just don't... <laughs> we, they never say that. Oh, no, they for they sure. use it as attack moves after it's all over. Mm-hmm. But fuck that bitch. She was not... This, yeah, I don't yeah. know what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> fuck him. You know, this, this, and that. Nah. Yeah, no. I, I think... And, and let me criticize myself for a second. Um, maybe sometimes I live in like a... I don't want to say utopia world, but I, I like... You got to take things for as they are, not as they should be. I speak a, a lot of times on shit and how I believe they should be as opposed to how they are. So I'm... Got you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm speaking yeah. to like... I'm speaking yeah. to like what I think is right 
But a lot of times That's not reality A lot of times This dude gonna snap She gonna tell him Hey you acting weak as fuck Like stop crying Like like that's gonna happen And I get it But my goal here My my goal when I speak On gender relations It's always been like this Back when I was wilding In 2016 And I didn't give a fuck And so now I still would speak On a lot of similar stuff My goal was always To have a man and a woman Understand each other more And bring us together A lot of like shit today In these podcasts nowadays it, it, It's not for like The end goal of unification Yo can we understand each other so they can be more positive um you know interactions and relationships and we can figure it out whether we're for each other where we're not we can depart respectfully a, a lot a lot of it isn't like oh damn now i get how men think damn now i see how these chicks think it's uh you know it's for the sensationalized bullshit of what's going to give views and clicks so they're going to just say some wild ass shit and it's pushing us the opposite direction it's not what's supposed so i'm trying to bring a middle ground of keeping it motherfucking real but also knowing that the goal and the intention here is to like yo bring us together so we can understand each other you know what i'm saying so that, 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 that's so well said I, I literally feel the same way about the podcast mm. no, no matter who what guests i have on i'm trying to just unite people on some type of common grounds and it's great that you say that because as much as I give it, I'm not calling them out because I'm giving them a lot of credit yeah. um, uh, against, what's it called? Fit, uh, uh, Fresh and Fit Podcast. Fresh and Fit Podcast. I, I'm giving them a shout out. Guys, if you want, go ahead and follow them, especially if you're on the younger side of things. Fresh and Fit Podcast, you know, great podcast. They, they have a lot of females on there. They got a couple of guys on there. And they talk about real deal, you know, uh, scenarios, situations for that, you know, for that. I guess that genre and of course uh, right. that also that location that that demographic because we're talking mm -hmm. about Miami mm -hmm. we're talking about South Florida oh yeah no for sure we are absolutely completely different from the rest of the fucking world yeah. hands down remember that <laughs> if you're from here and you're hearing this and you're watching this we are aliens to the rest of the fucking world and you gotta remember we're products of our environment so 100% a, a lot of people Hence, sound a lot of people yeah. their perspectives and their shit they sounds wild as fuck so it, and, and there's two sides of it it's like okay so let's be cognizant and aware of like okay that's what they see that's their experience so let's and then the other side is like okay that's what you've seen there's a whole other fucking side of the world it's right. not just your experience balance exactly <laughs> exactly and, and, and not only that let, let's be realistic about things you know if you have a, a lot of opinions coming from Wisconsin <laughs> uh, nah, I'm not talking about shit about Wisconsin, but well, you know they, they don't have the temptations that we have. They don't have the activities. They don't have the you know, the leisure. They don't have people what, in Wisconsin never been to eleven. When you got <laughs> when you got so many options, literally, no matter what you're talking about, sports. I mean, you understand the UFC. I'm a, I'm a ginormous MMA fan. You know, you right. saw the gym downstairs. Sure. Shit, done um, by the way, I love it. And, and thank you, brother. Yeah. Um, we have some of the worst fans when it comes to sports. And it's because we have so many options. It's like... Ooh, give me your... What do you mean by that? Hold on. UFC tonight? We're at the arena? What's the main event? I can get there by 11. But right. until then... I'm going to go to the Grove. I'm going to go to fucking Coral Gables. I'm going to go to South Miami. I'm going like, <laughs> to like... That's I know you OG bringing the Grove back. Bro, bro, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I heard the Grove it's popping coming, back. Coming <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, okay, motherfucker. Well, you over here. Back. Middle age. All right, yeah. I used to do Whiskey Wednesdays when I was 21. Bro, the girl used to be this shit. I, I would love to see... It is coming back, and it should, because mm -hmm. um, Brickle got way... Y'all noses need to come back down. <laughs> they, too, they, too they too bougie. Oh, and they're, they're way, way, yeah, way yeah. too high, way too high. But anyhow... um. I love that you have this perspective on, on, on things and, and, and people on that level. I'm trying to bring us together, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> but I want to attack certain situations. I want to attack certain. I want to attack certain things that 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 Pearly uh, Purdy talks about mm -hmm. Pearl, and I also want to talk about things that they talk about in the Fit Podcast. Yep. I keep saying Fit. Fuck it. It's all good. Um, okay, body count. <laughs> We're gonna do some quick fire shit, all right? Body count. How do you feel about that and why? And apply it to. I don't think you got to apply it to the men because I think it's pretty obvious that. No matter what, the women in some shape or form, they kind of brush it off. I don't know that the women. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. I, I want to hear. Le it. I want. I'm gonna hear Lex's answer. But ladies, I want to hear you guys' response to that. Mm. You're gonna hear Lex's answer. You're gonna hear my response. We definitely have a way different perspective. Don't act on your egos in regards to body counts. We want to hear you guys' perspective. How badly affected are you? When you hear a man's body count and where does it start taking different levels? One to twenty, mm -hmm. 
30 and above, <laughs> 50 and 100. What are we talking about? Depending on the age and so on and so mm. forth, make sure you chime in, hit him up, hit me up. Lex, how do you feel about it personally? Mm. And then how do you feel about it in regards to society and how they take it? In general, it? for sure. I think I think the body count situation is definitely a multifaceted question. It's a little more complex as opposed to um, time period, somebody with 40 or 50 Right, a lot of details. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pe- pe- people speak so generally, they give you like a, uh, a body count as opposed right. to like when when a twenty two year old is gonna have the same body count as a forty five year old. Like let's take in time account. Uh, let's take let's take so, time so let's into account. Let, let's throw one so, in there. Let, okay. Let's say what twenty four to let's say twenty four to thirty four. Thirty four. Okay, so I'm a big proponent of this. Okay, doing whatever the fuck you want to do. Right, I believe as a woman, grown ass woman, do what you want. As a man. Do whatever the fuck you want. I had that I would be pushing that. Mm, bruh, 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 bruh. Bro, I am, I am not, bro. I am not here to tell you how to live. Right. I am not here to tell you what to do. But, <laughs> big old butt. Understand, butt. understand. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Yes. It's but do whatever you want. But that comes with, with consequences. That's right. That's right. People are going to feel some type of way. You, yeah. you, can, you can be a proponent of, I don't give a fuck, women liberation, fuck who you want, fuck who you want, girl, do what you want. But don't be mad. When that I'm, shit comes w- back, well, if it comes or back. Or just don't be mad if a man feels some type of way. Exactly. It, because some men it. do and some men don't. A lot do, clearly, you guys, I'm sure. But what I think in today's day and age, we're, we really ridicule a lot um, how people feel about a certain situation you're allowed to say it's okay that you feel that way i wouldn't date you but i love you and i fuck with you we're cool he's not he's not a weak ass person because he he's not a little boy because he cares about that that just that's just his standards and his perspective just like I, i'm not a weak or a wild do what you want but managing expectations is a fucking problem right now everybody right. wants to do what they want they have no expectation shit comes back so it's like do what you i'm not tripping on that at all but it comes with shit so i just think it's it's important that we're um we're very cognizant that you have the right to do what you want, but you do not have the right to um, be upset at the results that come back because that that's out of your control. You can control your actions. You can't control how people feel about them. All right, so I got friends who who, who, who are going to watch and they heard all that and they're going to be like, hell yeah, he can run for president. <laughs> but now... Talk to me. You're a president. We don't want to hear that bullshit, okay? Mm-hmm. We want to hear where you fucking Ooh. stand. We want to hear where Lex, I'm not going to try to say your last name again. <laughs> Lequisit. Le- <laughs> Lequit. Fuck. Fuck. Whatever. Lex. Uh, <laughs> Let your life. <laughs> there you go. We want to hear your actual opinion. So, I'm going to put you on the spot. And if it, I'm, as know, far as and it, what I look for in a woman, what I want I'm gonna, to yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna get Leah. Yes, I'm gonna go a little bit more detail, right? This, this, this is a different podcast, and I'm gonna be like, all right, Lex, mm-hmm. homegirl is, uh, and I haven't even uh, put you on the spot to hear what, what are your checks, what's your checklist, you know, fitness, height, whatever, doesn't matter, whatever Lex likes, <laughs> but she has this body count where. Does no matter what that checklist is, or she's like, oh, uh, 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 uh. She's Haitian American with green eyes, and but put the but but but. But then the body count comes up, and you hear her. She's like, hey, baby, I'm gonna tell you straight up because I'm a very, you know, cutthroat, honest person up front, like Ooh, you are, I blah blah that. blah, I which I that. do too. That turns me on love right that, away, baby. Keep it real with me. And she says, all right, Lex, I got twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. And two possibles. <laughs> <laughs> and two, I'm not sure. <laughs> two, just a tip. <laughs> two, exactly. That, that, that ain't a count. A <laughs> exactly. There so you go. Two, just a tip is one. <laughs> so, there you go. So, <laughs> how do you take that? That's just the most random number I have um, for you. No, nah, that's funny. Maybe um, not the best at 31. Right. No, no, no. I mean, <clears throat> the number, I can't focus on the number because, like I said, is, is this some 38 year old MILF, but she's fucking amazing in every way, or is this some 22 year old? Like that number means different. No, but but no, I said I want to put it in your age right. bracket. She's 31. She's right. 31. And it all depends. Come on, you remember? Remember, I'm homie, you, you, you. You, you just said live your life. Da, 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 hold, da, da, da. hold me, hold me to the fire. Hold okay. me accountable for everything I'm right. saying. If if I'm not being clear, because I'm not, I will never dance around a question. If you're asking me, Lex, there you go. Hold me to that. Moment. <laughs> now, if you're asking me, like Lex, does body count matter? Do you, do you give a fuck at all? You you're damn right it does for sure. It okay, does. okay, for, for sure it does. Yep. And what and what I mean by that is my requirement for somebody that I want a wife and bring home to my mother um, 
and and stuff that I look for in a partner doesn't matter. Yes, but does that mean that I think I'm better than you? Does that mean that I think because people get that misconstrued? People will say, "Well, what about you and your body count?" Which which is fair, and we can get there in a second. But what's in Important, I always try to say when this topic comes up, it's like, yo, that doesn't mean that you're not fucking dope in so many ways. This is one aspect of a fucking giant world. So many people, um, and that doesn't mean I think I'm better. That doesn't mean I think I'm cool. I'm, that means that's what I hold that standard. Whether it's body count, whether it's how you carry yourself, whether it's how you present yourself, for me, that's kind of important. Some dudes don't give a fuck. They want a badass bitch so that they can be a trophy wife and show to their boys and good for them. You know, she might be 88. <laughs> or what? <laughs> More power to her if that's what she loves to do. I'm not tripping on you, but I'm saying as far as me and what I want to I hear, have a family. I'm a family man. I want to have a family someday. I hear, I hear souls in my fucking brain right now, bro. And what are those? like, what's the number? Mm -hmm. Oof. What's the number, Lex? Wish I could give you one. Ugh. Let's just not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, like I'm not. That's for, and and we're, what we're speaking Keep on is one hundred, bro. But, no, but listen, listen, listen. We I'm talked about that. This this moment might Ooh. come. I'm like I'm like Lex. Talk I'm not the type me. of I'm not the type of person to put anybody on the spot. Mm -hmm. And you told me you welcomed me. You I, said, bro, if, I, if there's a I moment told, you want to put me on the spot, I told go him, ahead. I told him don't put pull any punches. I'm an open book. Ask me anything. He is, and I give I'm him mad here. credit yeah. for that. He really did. I literally I was like, yo, are you sure? Because I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I want to respect anything You know Is there any topics Man we went all around the world And he said No there's not mm -hmm. I go cool Because I want to freestyle this 100% I didn't think I really didn't think It would get here Because I think we're, we're on the same level But I do want to put you on the spot What's the number Lex If it was the homeboys And the cameras went on I'm not saying that you would be Somebody <laughs> different uh, I just want to put oh, that no, type I, of pressure I, I, on you I keep it real Cameras on like, off bro I don't Like, like what is it Because I don't believe in that number If I can help comfort you Before you fucking challenge right. your ego I don't <laughs> believe in that number I think I think it's it it. It's not irrelevant. I don't. I just don't think it holds as much water as it should. So I, I'm gonna commend you of like, right. hey, it shouldn't but, be that much. But, but you know, you talking about like your moms and all that. Yo, your mom's got nothing to do with that. Your mom's is old school. Your moms don't right. know her. Your moms didn't live that life. Your moms, you know, for sure, for sure. Like, okay, so two things, and I'll answer you directly. Number one, you just nailed it. What you said, you don't think it's relevant to a certain extent. The key word in that one was you. Right. So everyone here. Everybody is entitled to what they their course, their preference. They have their reasons, so yes. your so so your question to me as far as my preference to answer that question accurately, I need an exact. Um, she's thirty one. I, I need she's thirty one. So I let mean, me. That's the I, biggest I, one I, right I, there. I'll give you this. She's my age. She's had three serious boyfriends in her fucking thirteen years of fucking. Because you've had three serious girls. Mm. Two. Okay. <laughs> Define serious <laughs> No I, Well I'll no, take no, that I'll take that I'm with you on that But I'm fucking with you too For sure Um so I, th I, th I think For the most part In a weird way You're looking for a I, mirror I, I, image Of a certain sense No I've, I've never thought Of the exact number But what I will say Is that we need to be Realistic Because a lot of people Speak about numbers Like 15 and 20 and 22 Bro these females If you did If you were fucking For 10 years And you have Three a year, that's 30. And dudes are like, oh, I'll never fucking wife a girl who's over 16. Yo, my nigga, let's be real with yourself. So, like, so I'm realistic. Well, without a doubt, I agree with that. Right, right, right. But but I, yeah. I, I hear that shit all the time. Yeah. I, I hear crazy numbers. And the other side, by the way, ladies, like, when I, I've asked that question to a lot of girls about what they think is high, and they tell me a number for a dude, like, oh, like 25, 30. I'm like, bro, this is 80, 90, 260. Like, they'll never tell you the truth. So, uh, they'll never know. I, I, I um, love that you said that because I think that neither side. Mm -hmm. Will ever say the truth mm -hmm. I really do You think people are gonna lie I, I I think the majority of them No matter what Because uh, uh, Unless mm. Shout out to the Shout out to the um, The squares The religious ones The ones who were in long relationships The ones who whatever yeah, Sometimes uh, the religious ones Is the worst yeah. I, know, I know some church going motherfuckers That go crazy But <laughs> The majority If you fall in that Somewhat of a square category Meaning you don't jump Out of your square You, you, right. you, you, you abide by the Whatever the, the parameters Right um, Aside from those The majority of, the, of Whoever's claiming whatever They're lying They're, they're lying. lying Especially they're gonna lie To their significant right. other Because like you just said You alluded to it right now The majority of men Are lying about Whatever number they gave you And, yeah. and guess what the women are doing the same. I, I'm so much more about. But that's more in your age but, but, bracket. Right. No, no, for sure. They, you, they, you're the one who's got it, bro, bro, wild. bro. They lie. They lying like a motherfucker. Number one. But I'm so much more of like a mindset and where you at right now. Um, I think that. Um, I think that your past matters. 
I think that at what I think that and not just as far as body count, as far as fucking everything. Yeah, when you, when of you if you if you commit a crime and it's your first offense, the judge is gonna let you off. If you fucking it's your eighth time, bro, there you, 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 you yeah. doing you doing five to ten, right? So like to say, oh, I don't want to be judged, like your past matters. But what's more important to me is like your five current. to ten. <laughs> what, 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 you're in yeah. Korea? What yeah, the fuck? Dude's just, dude's, just doing, <laughs> dude's just doing some shit. <laughs> no, nah, but 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 it's your past matters and it's important Agreed. because it'll Agreed. dictate what you're doing in the future but i don't believe somebody can't change so Ooh, so there you go. so there because, you go. because then i would lose hope in everything yes exactly and and, and humans operate off of hope i don't want to be naive so i'm not here to change anybody or you know or or any of the sense but if you're somebody i want to be with and you're somebody i fuck with and you're of the mindset that of like oh no i don't give a fuck like if you've had a few white night stands and it's happened, okay, like I can look past that. I'm not tripping on you. <laughs> if you're out here like still of the mindset of like, yeah, I might meet a guy and he's cute and I'll go home and fuck him. That's fine and more power to you, baby. I just don't want to wife you right now. Like, I'm not with that. And that's okay. That doesn't mean I'm better than you at all. Just you might be better off searching for a partner of a guy that's more laid back and doesn't give a fuck about that. Go for you for sure. I'm not tripping on you. And I love you and you love me and we can be homies. But that's just, uh, that's it. And that's for me. <laughs> Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to have more focus? Are you looking to boost your immune system? Or are you an athlete that is in pain and needs to recover to continue to crush your goals? Well, here at Flueless Mobile Wellness, we can help you out with every single one of those through the use of our vitamin infusions. Our preventative health services are as easy as calling us up and we show up. Here at Flueless Mobile Wellness, your home is our office. Stay healthy with Flueless. All right, all right. So we've been talking about relationships. We've been talking about a, we've been tossing a whole lot of things up there. And and, mm. and and be honest with you, this is something that the podcast that I was giving all kind of shout outs to have not talked about. Yeah. Even even the homeboys that we talked about earlier. Shout out to my boys, Coffee Breakup. Mm -hmm. uh, I love I love this. Uh, Chris Vieira, uh, Marvin, yeah. hey, shout, shout out, out to Coffee Breakup. I've been watching y'all since y'all was at 300 followers. Now y'all blew up. Just awesome, man. Like, awesome. Like we, we, we love to see that. We love to mm -hmm. see that. Um, all right. Topic that I don't think they touch up enough, right? So this, I'm bringing this up not from just because of the sexual kinky whatever you know <laughs> uh, scenario of it, but more so because of the, the the manhood aspect of it and how women. Take it, whether as a turn on, does it eventually turn you on, but then turn into a turn off? Mm. Does it emasculate the man? I want I want to get different levels of this, and I don't even know how you're going to react to this because I know I'm surprising you right now. All right. Talk to me. <laughs> There's a whole thing going on about, you know, uh, one man getting their asses licked. <laughs> Damn, this shit just came left field as fuck, huh? I mean, it, it is what it is. It's Relationships, love, 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 you know. Love. <laughs> you know ass, ass eating, ass eating, you know, Ali. But it's not even. Field. But it, but be honest, you. Uh, uh, this sounds horrible. Uh, that was an intro to an even worse intro. <laughs> uh, but I wasn't talking about the ass nigga. I'm talking about more into like when a man, if a man is <laughs> that whatever it is you want to call into. I've never been this dude. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to relate. I'm trying to see like. Who, what do women think about this? Mm -hmm. Because I hear men talking about it all the time. All right, damn near every man's got his ass lit. We can touch. We can touch topic. On, we can touch that topic, and then you we think can, so? You think damn near everyone? Oh, okay, whatever. Down you probably have it. No, the no, way you're talking. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just asking. Oh, okay. No, not every man, but the attempt has been there, at, or, or it happened, and it happened good, or it happened bad. Uh, we can touch that topic. I want to touch that topic. I just don't want to dwell mm -hmm. on it. But more so, what I what I want to touch respectfully is. What do you do when you have a man who's who's sexually connected to himself or in a way of, of whatever? He's just open. And he happens to <laughs> like his ass fondled with. <laughs> I know, I know as as men, for whatever reason, <clears throat> you're laughing, I'm laughing, whatever. I'm trying my best to like this listen, we can we can flip the script and I can be like, yo, Bro. what do what what do you do with Lex, what do you do when a <clears throat> female says you pussy? Fucking mm -hmm. choke me, spit in my mouth, oh, yeah, oh, and yeah. once I swallow, hit me with an elbow. Like, what the mm -hmm. fuck do you do that? It's mm -hmm. almost the same right. thing. Oh, no, no, for sure. Hit what, me with it. What, what, what I want to, do you think that women, when this happens, are, are women really digging this? Are women kind of just in this for the, uh, oh, wow. I never had the opportunity to Oof. be the man in this uh, situation. Oof. I 
or, or, right. or if it happens organically and it's a real couple, it's a real. So I'm asking damn near for three opinions. If it's a real couple, three years in, five years in, ten years in, hey babe, uh, I just saw some YouTube thing and uh, the doctor said that uh, <laughs> if you just stick the tip. I'm going to have the biggest orgasm of my life and I'm tired of just coming within less than two minutes. Uh, I want you to stick your ass, uh, finger in my ass. And then it just goes on from there. What are you feeling towards that? <clears throat> on both spectrums. Yeah, I mean, I think people need to talk about what they love. I mean, if you love that shit, yo, if you're a dude, don't, and it's the woman you love and it's your sex life, that shit is so important. So, so you know, so, so I'm, Big on that speaking and communicating about because it's it's awkward it's weird transparency um, transparency obviously but it shouldn't be awkward and weird when it's somebody who you connect with or whatever there you or go. and it's so like in the scenario you gave of a serious relationship somebody you've been with five ten years mm -hmm. no for show how that conversation but um as far as uh, like if you just meet or it's hook up whatever or how women feel about it I think there's I think there's two types of women I think there's a certain type of woman that even if she's not totally into something like that. Bro, when you said you said there's two. Remember, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to there's call you out because you've been so level headed and you've been so yeah, balanced. Yeah, oh, yeah, you want me to lean? I, well, I, I, love I, it, I no, I don't want you to lean. What I'm saying is, what what if somebody's arguing like, yeah, just two is either or. And like, then, is it no, is, is, well, is that too extreme? In, in in this situation, I think there's a type of woman that wants to do anything, even if she doesn't even care for it or it's kind of ill for her. Okay, bro, she gets so off on trying to turn her man, man on. Uh, oh, I she like that. that. And ladies, you can be honest. Some of you love to do the shit you do. Tell them. Some of you love to do the shit, and some of you, you're not. You don't give a fuck about it, but if you see them eyes roll back and you gonna go and he gonna go crazy, you gonna be like, "Baby, I'll do whatever you want to do." So pause, so, um, pause on that real yeah, quick, and ahead. we're and we're gonna come back to it because mm. you're doing great on that, right? And I, I I hate to throw you off. I apologize. No, you all good. But if that woman does that, do you feel because <laughs> this was the part that Pearl Pearl had these women on 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 her podcast, okay, and they talked about something like this, and this is why I brought it up. Um, they 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 all the, they're willing to do it, but after it's done, the respect is down. Really? Yeah, that's what they were saying. Yeah, some of them were like that. Some of them <laughs> went with it, but they could never bounce back from it. Then there was the uh, ever since I did that, I realized I was in charge. Then there was the ever since I did that, and we spoke about it. He got weird about it because right. I brought it up and That's, it was something. He probably got weird because he sends the energy. Remember, of, remember you said earlier, yeah. you know, when a, when a guy yeah. opens he, up yeah, and he, he does that. Because, yeah, we're talking about being vulnerable. It's not just emotionally and how you exactly. feel. Exactly. Like, so that's, that, that's actually so, sexual vulnerability, yeah. right? I'm like, yeah, it, hey, sure. hey, I'm not gay, but, you know, I want you to fucking <laughs> dig all in. <laughs> just dig all. And I swear to God, I'm coming back to that because I, I do have a, a, a genuine question to you and yeah. to the viewers and the listeners about when it goes too far but mm -hmm. anyhow in regards to that yeah do you think it changes the woman most women mm -hmm. when, when if a man when a guy does that because nowadays more accepted now nowadays a guy's like yo you might oh, no, know for sure i mean stuff the stuff that's spoken about is is more expected this this stuff is spoken about every day we, we see ass eating and all that shit and and so the fact that it's more in the forefront um i think people are like you know what Shit, I feel more comfortable speaking on it because I'm um, fucking black sheep. They was talking about it. And there I you don't go. Give a fuck. There you go. Right. Maybe I heard it's socially accepted now, and so because it's so funny. I had a homeboy. You're killing it. Around the money, I, bro. I had a homeboy, and um, he used to, because, and I give him credit. Well, I'm not saying he was a pioneer, but he was the first to speak on this shit. This is like high school. Shout out my dog, and then they saying say no it. names. Say <laughs> it. Who he if is. he's proud, he'll take it as a man. <laughs> Come on, he started. I, 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 I'll say his nickname. I'll say his nickname, Big Homie. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's his nickname. That's what we call okay, him. Okay. So shout out, Big Homie, because even back in the day, he was like, "Don't knock it till you try it." This is what it is. Like I love eating ass X Y Z, and um. And it's so funny because everyone's bro, what's wrong with you? He was getting ridiculed. Oh, okay. And now it's all over every podcast. It's all over on Instagram. It's like a, it's a fucking casual topic. It's like, yo, what kind of coffee do you like? Yo, you eat ass? Like, that's what they talk about. But but, so, but remember, Lex, and again, apologize for cutting you off. You all good? I'm talking about more of, and, and we, we, I can ask you, I, I mm -hmm. think most men are going to be like, yeah, I've mm -hmm. done it or I would or whatever. No, no, no. I'm talking about the opposite. I'm talking about the, 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 mm -hmm. the, the, the road switch. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm talking about getting your junk. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what I'm talking. I'm not talking about you, the man, right? Licking ass. You guys can have the argument that all you want about that. That's way more accepted. That's not right. really arguing. I'm talking about right. the man getting his ass licked. But let's go further than that. The man asked for more. <laughs> how do you how do you feel about I know right because you're a man and whatever whatever but no, 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 talk to I, me. you got to be understanding talk about it. it if a man's trying to tune in with his sexuality you know remember we said women don't stroke your man's ego but understand that don't attack him don't right. don't don't you know call him out for being opening up about being sensitive opening up about that hurt his feelings this this and that well now right. to take it to the next level it's still the same uh, uh the playing same field premise, right, right. yes yeah, the same dimension uh just different topic ladies what if now i'm asking you guys what hmm. if your man of at least two years or better all right i'm finally comfortable enough babe i, I love you you're the one da 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 just saw this video, not the first time, seen it a few times, heard a couple stories. Boom. I'd like you to fall into my ass. <laughs> what do you mean, babe? I know. Let's, let's, let's start soft. Let's start lick. Let's start lick and let's see where that goes I, or whatever. I, whatever. I, Ladies, would that fuck you up? Would you do it? Mm -hmm. And would it fuck you up? And if it doesn't fuck you up, where's the cutoff? Because I am going to go to the next Ooh, tier. Yes. And I think I'm, I know I'm, you're, I'm setting oh, you guys up. Yes, I'm going there. Wow. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm going there. I'm going there. But for now, <laughs> let's end that, that, please. Let, 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 <laughs> let me try to reserve judgment. Um... <laughs> tough I one. Think, I told you no, I was no, gonna give you a tough one. No, 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 not at all, bro. I think like if if that's what you into and that's your lady, bro, ask her and see. And, and ladies, if that, and I think, and more importantly, even if a lady, I think more so than what you said you heard. I think if she's into it, if she's into her man and she loves that man, bro. When a when a woman when a female is in love. She gonna when her, literally when her goal is to when please she, him. When she wanna please you, bro, she gonna do it. She, even if she's like, that shit was a little weird, but damn, I love this man. Damn, I love how he talks to me. Damn, I love what he does for me. Damn, I love how he makes me feel. Damn, I got a bond with sexually. I'm gonna do whatever that man. So like, I think more often than not, for women, and y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not a woman, but I think more often than not, that is. Um, where y'all are at Now I know there's A certain percentage Y'all that is like I don't give a fuck If that's my husband For 20 years I ain't doing it Okay more power to you So but, okay So, so that But that, that's tier mm -hmm. two So you have the one That's willing Yep You have the old school one Who I just That's something I get down with And then you have the one And this was one of the topics That I was looking more towards Then you have the one Who's like Bro I'd be willing to I'm speaking for the women I'd be willing to but I feel like it's going to make me beneath him. I feel mm. like I'm being too submissive. I feel like, you know what? Yeah. Like, I don't want to do that. And if I don't want to do that, then I should not adhere to it. Right. What about that one? I do mean, you tell him, hey, man, I think if that's your husband, we didn't say boyfriend. Right. That's your husband. Sacrifice that. That's your husband. You should be willing to. Do you? Do, would you consult that? No. Would you say I, that? Without, yeah. I mean, I agree I can't tell somebody how to feel. I can tell you, even if it's something you don't want to do, the relationships are way better off with sacrifice. So if you had to sacrifice something you, you typically are not into, but that's the person you love, that's the man you love, and that's what he's into, I think um, it'll be better off for you guys if you should. Now, if this is something that you are not comfortable with, it disgusts you, you're not with it, right. then don't do it for the sake of him, and now you feel some type of way, and, and now it's not, because now you made your bed and you gotta lay in it. So it's like, you gotta look at something, is it a red flag? Or is it a deal breaker? Because they're two different things. And people get these, everybody when the red flag emoji shit went viral, everyone, red flag doesn't mean you're out. Right. Red flag means it's a red flag. Yeah. Me, yeah. Da, 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 yeah. Emergency. Emergency. Let, look me, let me look at it. So is it yeah. a red flag? Like, da, 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 like yeah, I don't, I'm not, I'll do it. But uh, Or is it like, deal breaker, I'm not winning. If it's a deal breaker, then undo it. But if it's a red flag and you're still with it because you love a person, then go ahead. So that's my opinion. All right, now here's, here's, here's a weird general question. Mm -hmm. uh, off topic, not off topic, it's a side question. It's not about relationship, but it's more so, okay, when is something gay? <laughs> <laughs> when is something like, all right, that's no longer, all right. Uh, so, before you ask, man on oh man, gay. I'm, I'm going to, I'm gonna. okay, this is great. This is why this is a great question. My opinion. I, I, defend, I defended this topic for a minute until I thought about it in depth, and I was like, wait a minute. You had, no, a, a, you had a paradigm shift. Yeah, because I'm very, I'm very visual, right? So I thought... <laughs> 
I thought I am. It's a it's an unfortunate you know thing about it's me. This me. this why I don't like you know gay jokes. I got so many fighters and clients of mine who are close friends of mine, and they do all this gay shit, and I'm like I'm so like bro, I don't play like that. And okay. I look at them serious. Like I can joke about all kind of. Yeah. Well, you can say that, but it's not old school. It's just like yo, uh, I don't play the game games, you know, whatever. But anyhow, um, there's one of those times where l- l- let's forgive me for it. So my topic is all right. I used to defend that if you like a finger in your butt, uh, uh, the tongue, whatever the fuck, all that, I'm stopping there, right? From your lady, from your lady. That's not gay. And I used to, you know, combat with a lot of people. I said, like, no, that's gay, that's gay, you know, whatever. Uh, only this, only that, but nah, really anything, anything past just brushing up on your fucking culo is gay. And I'm like, nah, I don't agree. I don't agree. If you know it's a female that's giving you that pleasure, if in your head you know that's your woman, your wife, your girlfriend, whose fingers in your butt and whatever, whatever. By the way, this has never happened to me. Clarify. That's not gay because your comfort zone is that's your female. But then I thought, because I didn't think it, somebody somebody put it out there and I was like, oh God, I got to think about that. Mm. They're like, but what if she wears a strap on, bro? Forget about licking, forget about fingering you. What if she wears a strap on? And I was like, that's gay. And I thought, no, it's, this, it's, it's the same thing because you, 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 you know it's your lady. Because but then I thought, but, but no, hold up. If she's wearing a strap on. You're, you're, <laughs> you're thinking about this. You're thinking. You're imagining. Oh, you're fantasizing. Man. That's another motherfucking dude ramming you. You're not thinking that's a woman ramming that's, you because a, it doesn't make a sense. Strap, they got to bring out lube. Who had the lube? Did you? That's it. That's gay, right? But <sighs> would you would you cut it off at the uh, finger part? Or bro, you think that you think bro, the finger's I'm, gay? Listen, listen, listen. This listen, is very vulgar. Listen, I, I apologize. No, no, no. no you all good. I don't, <laughs> bro, I don't give a fuck. I'm not tripping at all. I'm not tripping at all. Normally, it's not your typical fucking dinner conversation, but I, yeah. I came to Black Sheep. I know it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well said. Um, <laughs> for me, <laughs> if you are taking, and this will surprise you because Uh-oh. I have a lot I have a lot of conversations with a lot of women, This com- and not even that I'm asking. I've had, like, Lex, you won't even believe you know what I'm saying? Like, I got homegirls. I have people I'm cool with. People always felt This com- nigga asked me to fuck a dog. Oh, bro. <laughs> people, have, people have always felt comfortable uh, opening up to me. And I'm, yes. like, I'm like, I didn't even ask that. But right. talk, talk to me, girl. Yeah, they well, had to I, tell I you. Say, I said, what? And it'd it be some reputable people. It'd be some Ooh. club owners, restaurant owners. Oh, it, it'd, it, it, it'd be fuck. some motherfuckers with, like, in, like, with a face in society who you admire and you respect. And, damn, he'd be saying real shit. That'd be bending over and taking that motherfucking nine-inch strap, bro. It's Crazy. So like I'm so disturbed right now. So bro. I what I will say is do I think it's gay? I think it is. But I'm not this dude. Man, what the fuck am I talking about? That shit gay for me, bro. I can't do it. What like it's at least listen, listen, homie. It's at least listen. Okay, okay. Let, let, you know what? We what, what's the key today? What's the key tonight? What we've been talking about? I'm talking about balance. Balance. All right, so balance. <laughs> it's at least it's at least bisexual, Lex. Ugh. If you do that, you I'm not gonna say that you. Ah, fuck, man. It's pretty I mean, gay. It's pretty gay. Yeah, I mean the, the it's, it's bisexual. It's it's you, you. There's no way that you can let a woman strap up with a with a dick. Yeah, right. Without I mean, imagining that it's another man. What do you? I don't. I don't understand. I mean, okay. So allow me to. Where's the psychology allow, uh, behind? Yeah, allow that. me to play like devil's advocate. Like, oh, there's okay. certain there's certain nerve endings in the yeah, ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. It feels good. No, for no. You. There, there's no denying that right. scientifically that's proven, right. but it doesn't matter like, like, though. What, what, what? I mean, <laughs> you don't need a fucking nah. eight inch dick. Nah, he's think, strapped he's, up. <laughs> yes, he's imagining a guy. Now she's giving him cosquillas. Yeah. <laughs> Like tranquila. <laughs> you know, so, you know, it's the worst part because now we gotta entertain it. We have to entertain it. Bro, I, need, I need that. Uh, I, I feel like we're on Joe Rogan right now because it gets so gay, and I don't try to get this gay. All right, so bro, hurry up. Listen, <laughs> yeah, hurry up. We got a couple more minutes. How did he? Show. How do these women? Like, do you imagine the women that do strap up? Do but they? They, they do love they, pleasing I, that I, dude. Okay, I get they that, love that shit. but they don't even know how to act. Like. 
guy like with it. So I bet like the ass slaps are so awkward. Their stroke is horrible because they don't know how to stroke. Like, bro, it's what not like they, that when they're writing. What are they? they what are they saying though? Like, are they? Oh, no, taking, are, are, are they taking the? Are they taking the man role of like you like that you little? Oh bitch. my god, stop, bro! You know what? I tell we you, we gonna what. talk about it. We gonna I got, talk about it. I got a fucking great story. All right, so I got a great story, and, 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 and I, I, mean, I, I know. Hope, I hope you weren't in this situation. I know. I know. I'm not. No, okay. this, this is why I can talk about it. All right, so. I got a client. Oh, man. I love you, bro. <laughs> I got a client. He told me this story. So about um, two years ago when he broke up with his with his uh, ex fiance, um, somewhere there, I forgot how we how we heard about it. I don't, I don't know. What, you know, after you train, when we do MMA. We beat each other's asses, right. this, this, and that. If I don't have a client behind my clients, we go longer. We go extra. So when it's all said and done, we're fucking all sitting down on the mats. And it's one of those camaraderie moments where you're just like, yo, you're just so wasted from exhaustion. And you just talk about everything. Well, like, like, you notice you notice in these um, moments when you're done with the training session, everything. Like a sense of more like honesty with the dude. hundred percent. Every time it happens, they're like awesome question. They're like awesome fucking question. I feel like it's like a bonding thing. We're like, damn, because they're vulnerable. Just, because they're vulnerable. Because they're at their weakest. I just went through war with this motherfucker. Yes, exactly. So they're at their weakest. So let me tell you what I did. Okay. No, yeah. no, I'm saying that's what they say. No, 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 no. I'm saying. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm saying like that's when they're like. It's the stupidest <laughs> shit. It is. It's, it, yes, it is the war aspect. <laughs> that's the biggest part. But it's like, bro, when when you. When you're so exhausted while sharing that experience that led to the exhaustion, doesn't have to be war. We just exhaust. We went through exhaustion through each, with each other. You can relate. So you want to open up. It's, it's a bond that's out of nowhere. It's like that, that means a lot of shit. it pretty much means that. And, and I know it's, it, I really do believe in science all the time, bro. It's, it's also physiological. You're you're so tired that your guard is down. Mm. And when your guard is down, both mm. physically and mentally, you just you open up, and you're like, bro, I I, I felt that hit. So when you notice people, when you notice people opening up, like, what is the what's the case? Like, what are they talking about? It's, well, well it, there you go. That right there is. And by the way, this is speaking to everybody listening. When when yeah. somebody's exhausted, that does that's not always a good thing. When somebody's exhausted, when they're down and out, when they're done. And they're just fucking over it, you know. Yeah. Could be, um, I hate to say this, it, 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 it could be a, a, a rebound. You know, that doesn't mean act on the rebound, but understand that it is a rebound. This person is, you know, they're rebounding. They're rebounding. They're not soft. They're not this and not that, but they're still on a rebound. You sensed it. You're you saying, know it. They're not going to admit it. You're saying empathize with them. Yes, where at. yes. Because a lot course. of people will judge and be like, of you motherfucker, like, bro, they trying to open up. Listen to them. Either they'll judge or they'll fucking take advantage of it. Mm. Both are, both are, the judgment is not so wrong. I wish you would be more understanding. Mm -hmm. Taking right. advantage of it is dead ass wrong. Right. And and the crazy part about the sickness behind that, I, I, I think, I think whether you've been part of it or you know people who have done it, yeah. is, the sick advocate the sickness when mm -hmm. they realize this motherfucker knows I'm going through something. Look mm -hmm. at look at him mm -hmm. or look at her. Mm -hmm. And then you just thought, you sick fuck. All right, I'm mm -hmm. gonna entertain you. Then right. You think that, they you think they almost see it. Yeah. yeah, they see it, yeah. It's like a double weird sickness, bro. Right. It, it really it, it's it's a weird thing, right? It's kinda That's like crazy. I'm not trying to um promote or condone where we when relationships are falling apart and we both agree you guys should just go. Right. But yet you have that whole oh that that break up to make up sex. Mm -hmm. That that's the same concept that we're talking oh, yeah, about. No. But humans operate off of hope, right? So we all Ooh, that's a good way yeah, of saying it. And, there you and, go. And, and that's one of the like the whether you call it a theory or a premise that I live by. Um, we all hope and you can use that whether it's in sales with business you can use it in relationships mm. you can use it in anything people hope yes they have yes, this they yes. have this yearning this want they have how the world should be and how they view it so they hope and um the ones who have mastered the art of communication they master the art of how people think and what they know they can take advantage of that hope you know what i'm saying so somebody is going to sit here and be in and be telling you about their feelings on a certain topic but in reality what they're really telling you is that they hope it was somewhere else so you, they can be telling you that damn i've been through hard motherfucking times man i fucking just lost 50k on this fucking investment i just fucking my boy just Fuck my bitch. I just, you know, I, I just went through this. They trying to tell you that they hope for something else that they're hoping for. And then there's the people who are going to take that information in and give them some game and their experience of what they've been through and what they think. And then there's 
the other motherfuckers who are going to take advantage and be like, how does this person's vulnerability affect me and how can I gain from it? And that's the character side of like, and that's how I judge somebody's character, right? Like how you treat people and what you take from it yes. is everything with me. People say shit, people, people have been through shit. I get it. I give leeway. I try to be understanding. If I'm on a fucking date with a chick and she, whatever, she's cool. We get along. She's, if she's rude to the fucking server and how she treats people, bro, you, I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm not fucking with you. So if you're taking advantage of somebody in a vulnerable situation, I'm not fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not somebody like who I want to, you know. But a lot of people, you got to remember, this is a selfish-ass world. A lot of people, they they live in that space of like, they and, and to their credit, some of them get successful. Some of the most successful people we've seen right now are these selfish, prick-ass motherfucking business. They kill shit because they find, like, where are you vulnerable? Where are you weak? Where can I take advantage? What skills you have where I can advantage? And they going to fucking kill that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, by all power, okay, you want to do that, good for you. I will never fuck with you. So it's the same shit, like in business, like in anything, like in a relationship. Bro, If you, how you treat people and what you do in times when when the rubber meets the road is everything. Pressure makes diamonds or makes pixie dust. So, like, how do you act in those situations defines your character. Everybody's fucking cool as fuck when... Everything when money's coming in, when when your relationship with your moms is good, when we just went out to the bar the last three weekends in a row when shit was lit, Nick, he's your boy, y'all, y'all. Okay, but how do you act when I'm fucking down, bro? Right. How right. Do you, how do you act when when I need your help? How do you act when um when you owe me money or when I owe you money? Huge. Because everyone's cool until some some uncomfortable shit. Do you communicate? Are you like, hey, let's work, let's figure this out? Do you go ghost? Do you not answer a text? You know, same thing in relationship. It shit is so important. How you treat people when shit is not going well defines who you are, not how you are when shit is lit. I know a bunch of motherfuckers who are fucking amazing people to be around, who are fucking funny, who are warm people, and they're cool when it's lit. But when it's, fu when it's not good, right. how do you act? And that's how I judge somebody who I'm going to be an acquaintance with. I fuck with you. What's up, baby? You good? Or, man, I'll do anything for you because I, you know what I'm saying? Right. So that might have veered off, but no, no, it's, 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 it's not, it's not, it's, it's not a veer off at all, at all whatsoever. But you know what? To compliment what you're saying, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you this on some, on some veteran shit, bro. Talk to me. Uh, Get ready, homie. Like, like dead ass, like dead ass. I, Cause it doesn't matter if 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 I if I literally saw a young me in you, which is like right. the most complimentary thing that I could say. Right. Not, 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 I don't want you to get overly no, no, flat no, no. or whatever. I That's just mean, I just mean like, yeah, exactly. You know. And again, we you know, we had like thirty minute you know interlude before we started, started recording. Yeah. Um. Even if I can say that, I'm still gonna tell you this, man. Yeah. You're gonna realize more and more, man. I don't. I, I don't want to encourage people to be cold blooded, but I do want to encourage people to tuck all that warm hearted shit down. Wake, wake turn it. Wake that game up. It's not. Turn a, it down. Turn it down, bro. It's, it's not as beautiful. I, I, as exactly, man. I, no one wants to hear the whole. The grass is not as green as you think on the other side. Get the fuck out of here with that lame shit. But <laughs> it, it's it's more so of like, hey, bro. Be, uh, re be realistic. This I, is how the world is. I love where your heart's at. I love where your heart's at. Guess what? My heart. My heart's been in the same place, and it was there when I was around your age. And uh, some old man shit to say. Boy, my mom saw it, and she was like, "Baby, wake up." She didn't say wake up, cause cause. She was, uh, she she she's not old school like that, but she was in the middle of it. She was too old school to tell me that, so she said, "I, the pain that you're gonna go through in life is gonna come because you share your mama's." Mm -hmm. um, um, it's almost like it's almost like belief in people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's 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 um uh, no. If anything, it's more so of she's trying to let me know that, bro, you just like your mama, right? And you're gonna go through a lot of the pains that I went through, but based on your era, mm -hmm. because of what I instilled in you. At least she gives you the game, you know. Exactly. Energy, focus, weight loss, recovery, all the things that you need to be able to live a very healthy and productive life. But what if we could be able to offer you all of these things in the comfort and convenience of your home? Flueless Mobile Wellness is the company that would be able to make all of those dreams come true. 
with enough energy and focus, all of your dreams will become a reality. We are here to serve. All right, Lex, I'm going I'm to I'm try to put you on the spot. Talk to me. A lot of advice tips you can give, right? Like I said, uh, uh, earlier in the podcast, I said, all right, you're a great representation of a uh, that great mid-range, well-balanced, key point tonight, balance, 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 balance. Guys, remember that balance, Theme balance, fucking balance. Everything comes with balance. <laughs> if you don't like me and you think I'm full of shit, the one message I want you to take is stay balanced in stay everything. Stay balanced, stay balanced. Sexually, balance. <laughs> uh, whatever it is, balance. Yeah. Just balance and like give a little, take a little, balance. Always remember that. All right, so you, you, you've exemplified a lot of balance tonight, okay? So let's see, <laughs> let's see if we can get a little bit of more... Uh, direct let's say advice okay in regards to uh the, the people out there listening and on, on both genders okay. both both men and women okay and and again guys i'm not claiming it he's not claiming it i just met the motherfucker tonight for the first time facts he's not a specialist i'm not a specialist but we both special <laughs> <laughs> you're taking a 31 year old's advice who's level headed hasn't been some traumatic bullshit Heart hasn't been stomped on and broken. Doesn't got baby mama kids drama this and that. No, no. You, this is a good, genuine, level-headed opinion from a 31-year-old. I'm 45. For those of you who, who want to hear that and, 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 and base it upon my wisdom, go ahead. But listen up. Listen up. All right, Lex. <clears throat> you got to give some advice to these the, 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 the gentlemen listen and, and the women listening. But we got to do age brackets. One is going to be challenged to you because you're not that age. Mm -hmm. But I want to hear what you think. The other one's going to be in your age bracket. Yeah. And the last one, uh, sorry to disrespect them, not that relevant. Okay. <laughs> so, where do you think the cutoff is? First, on the young, on the young bracket, the the quicker topic. Don't waste your time with that. If you're this age, and this is what you're hoping or thinking or looking for, don't waste your time with that. You mean in pertaining to um. Dating a certain person. Of there that. you go. There you go. Uh, um, oof. That's a good question. I think, and I'll give you, I'll give you the real, the real. I think it goes, the gray area is, oh, age doesn't define maturity. There's some people who, sure. but listen, listen, let me, sure. let me go. Let me go. There's some, because, because to a certain extent, that's true to a certain percentage of people, right? Right. Maybe. Maybe 20%. It's like, I know some 23-year-olds who fucking act like 33-year-olds, right. bro. They sell them motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, like, so it's like, if you hit that 20%, perhaps. Exactly. Then, and they 23, but like, they don't act like a 23-year-old, bro. They mature. Maybe they've been through shit. They know how to communicate. That, then, then solid. But to the 80%, so that's most of y'all. Don't think you always found the motherfucking gem and the fucking diamond in fucking South Africa. Like, no. Literally. You recommend that they more, they should think they probably are in the 80. More often than not, they are. Unless it's so some real, you like... Need oh. to, your satellite needs to be... Ah, I like it. Do, 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 do. I'm not telling you... I'm not telling you right off a 23-year-old. I'm not saying don't ever talk to nobody that age. Do a lot, and, satellite. And, 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 a, and a lot of people will. I'll never speak to this man. And... and and, and more power to you. That's your preference. But you need to be aware that you might think you love this motherfucker. He might be solid, dope. Damn. He fucking started a business at 19. He's 23 now. He made bread. He's commuting. He might, it might say, that red light needs to go off because at the end of the day, the motherfucker's 23 years old. What advice could he really have to offer? Does he really know how to really there fuck you, you like that? Does he really know how, well, how does he act when, when, what if he goes bankrupt? How, how what are you guys going to do for the house? How does he have a good relationship with your mother? How to like all this shit plays a part. So that's, I'm not saying fucking cut somebody off. I'm saying have red flags. So that satellite needs to be aware. So, so my advice to ladies and men who are fucking with people in the younger age bracket, wouldn't recommend it, but if you're going to do it, motherfucking turn your satellite up. Hyper-awareness. Hyper-awareness if you're on that young side mm. because the odds are against you. Right. It just is what it is. The odds are against you. That's, that's a good piece of advice. I almost feel like saying I fucking hate myself for saying this. Bro, just have fun. Wild out. Hold it out. Do what it is, <laughs> but do it with protection. Right. Do it. Do it with a level-headed mind so you don't get yourself in bad situations. But... 
truth is, none of you motherfuckers, no matter who it is, the chances of you guys being level headed enough where it's something meaningful that will, ah, bro. But what I'm it's saying, it's just you know, what I think here is experience is underrated. Everybody's heard. Oh, like, well like, said. It's underrated. Well said. And yes. you would think, oh, I heard you. Yeah, I know experience matters. You got to go through shit. No, my fuck. You got to go through shit to know Valuable how it feels. Valuable as fuck. Yes. You got to know. You got to go through shit to know how it feels because the the ethos is important. By ethos, I mean the credibility of the speaker. How can you have credibility about a topic if you've never gone through it? So it's like I used to think I know a lot about dating relationships and men and women and whatever. And I and I felt like I was level headed and I did know to a certain extent. But I didn't really know how it felt to be hurt until I got hurt. I didn't know really know how it felt to to go through some shit. To We're make, not talking about to, this. To, to, no, We're not at all. We talking about, about it in general. <laughs> no, but shit. I'm saying no, no. But real shit. I'm talking like I didn't know really t- to be really happy to really. Un- so how, yeah. can, how can I offer advice on some shit? Of course. So, so the ethos, the credibility is important. Nope. And, and and where I want to transition to that is who you listen to and who is credible on the topic you speak. Is crucial and it's everything. Let me run that back for y'all. Who you speak to and what I mean by that. For example, if I'm taking advice, if I'm a man and I want to know how women think and I want to know how do I get a, a woman that I want a wife. If I want to know, yo, I'm having, I can't even, I, I, I'm good at meeting women, but I can't keep one. I'm good at, damn, every time. Who should I speak to? Where do I seek advice? Who should I speak to? I should speak to a woman who's been through things, who has knowledge and who knows. Because who better can tell me on how a woman feels than a woman? The problem in today's motherfucking society is that too many men are listening to men about other women. And skirt, ladies, don't think I'm letting you off the motherfucking hook. Calm down. Yeah, calm yeah. down. Because what we say, everything is balanced. A Bro, 98% of the shit I speak will go both ways. Okay. Um, ladies, <laughs> if you want to know about a man, you want to know, damn, I want a relationship. What does a man like? What does a man dislike? What behaviors does he approve of? What behaviors does he disapprove of? Um, what is it that he looks for? Who should I speak to? Am I speaking to the motherfucking girl with the blue check who's 22 years old and tells me, girl, he ain't shit if he da da da? Or should I speak to a seasoned man who's like, hey, ladies, this is what men love. If you want to keep a man, listen to a motherfucking man. And this is the thing that on both sides they don't understand. And which is why I think as genders, we're going the opposite direction. My goal here, I'm not to, I'm not here trying to talk like a fucking know-it-all, like I know everything. Of course, everything, of course. Because I don't. Know. But what I'm not telling you I know everything. What I'm telling you is that who you speak to who does know a lot about these topics is within that certain fucking... I'm not going to speak to a doctor about how to build a building, right? I'm not going to speak to a fucking mechanic about how do I cure this sickness. It doesn't make sense, but this is what everybody's doing. They're seeking information from somebody who doesn't have the correct information. So value who you speak to. Hey, I want to know how do I keep... I've had six unrelationships six unsuccessful relationships. How can I find a woman who's going to listen to me? What what do I have to do? Damn. I I keep snapping on this girl. She doesn't feel comfortable to open up. Maybe I should listen. A girl can tell me cuz a, a, a man might tell me, "Nah, speak on how you feel, dog. Keep yelling at her. She don't fuck if that bitch don't get it." Like, no, you know, and and vice versa. I just think that shit is crucial and I want to get that message across to the people. Let me challenge you uh <clears throat> mid-stroke. Please do. Mid-strokes. <sighs> so he's a uh, why the fuck do I choose these words? Yeah, it's man, horrible. I'm not gonna lie, I'm the same way. Bro. Yeah, I was like, fuck, man, stroke. I mean, you know, man, stroke. You know, like when you get, you know. All right, all right. So, cause you're doing so great, you're doing great, you're doing great. All right. What about when these women come back at you? And we kind of touched this topic earlier on. Yeah. Of um, how do I address that? How do how do I talk to this dude about that? Mm-hmm. How 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 do I bring that topic up? Which, with, 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 you mean like how does she address a dude about something that she's unhappy with that he's doing, or like what do you? Yeah, I mean, I mean, pretty much because he, again, we were talking about earlier about how do you approach a man with, with, with without right. testing his without ego, testing his ego you, right. you know, it, it's 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 a. I'm just I'm kind of playing devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I hate to do it, you no, know, no, because because I'm feeling it. everything that you're saying. But but no, but it's important because there's certain people who are listening. I want be, yeah, exactly. No, I want no, them no. to hear this, you I, know. No, no, I get it. There's certain people who are listening, and they might be like, 
oh, but I'm listening to somebody. I might, but she's speaking truth. And that goes into what we talked about earlier. We often seek information that we already believe. Exactly. And that affirms us as humans, we all want to feel reaffirmed. We all want to feel validated. We, When you speak to somebody, you want to feel like they heard you. Right. If you're speaking to a fucking wall and they don't say nothing the whole time, right. you're like, why am I talking to this motherfucker? But if you're speaking to somebody and they sitting there giving you that affirmation, like, okay, bet, okay, bet. So it's the same exact thing. We often seek information and then we get it. If, if I'm a dude and I'm like, damn, yo, I'm, I'm looking, like, I'm tired of fucking around. I'm looking to find a wife, bro. I'm fucking 36. I've had my fun. I fucking built myself up a bit. I want to start my family, bro. I already feel like I'm late. Like, like what the fuck do, like, what, are the, what is it that these women are looking for and what can I provide? And then you're listening to somebody who doesn't have any idea about how a woman feels. It's not going to work. And vice versa. The same way the other motherfucking way around. Right. Ladies, you are too easily influenced off of people who already share your same beliefs. How does she know what men love? When If you're ever listening to one of your influencers or one of the people you follow and you fuck with them and doesn't mean they're not credible in certain topics, but on this. And they say, girl, if you want to know what a man likes and what a, this is what you got to do. Click the motherfucking stop button because it's more, now, it's more likely than not, not true. Or if it is true, coincidentally, you could have got that same information from somebody of the fucking male species. So that's who you should be speaking about on that topic. If I want to speak about how I cure a fucking disease, I talk to a doctor. If I want to speak about how I fix a car, I talk to a mechanic. Stop conflating the issue, men and women, and we'll be so better off and these generations will be fixed. And then once again, if, if we're going to reapply the whole balance talk, yep. if, if, if you're sane enough, if you're intelligent enough, if you're well balanced enough, if you're not so emotionally fucking driven. Correct. Go ahead and entertain both sides. All right. This this is level headed. All right. So, well, she's a little bit too optimistic. She's whatever, whatever. This is ghetto Betty who fucking telling me, fuck every guy, this, this, and that. Don't, right. don't be so naive. Oh, yeah. I got the keynotes. Don't be so naive. I'm going to double check that. That's I'm not going to just fall right in love and believe everything he tells me. Yeah. You know, but just right, be in the middle. Just be in the middle. Balance it out. They Balance take, it out. They, they take everything as fact. Um, and it's like it's important to see perspective, bro. I find, yeah, like, man. and it's I, I feel like that just sounds hella cliche. Like, oh yeah, you need to look at something from another perspective. But um, the cliche shit you hear is so true, which is why it's cliche. So don't hear something you need to see another perspective, and then you hear another perspective and you block that out. Like, oh, they full of shit. Like, no, let me shut the fuck up and seek to understand before being understood. This whole right. fucking pod is theme based right now. We reaching back to shit before because it's true, bro. Like people, um, they just, they really are stuck in their ways and some of your ways might be right, but listen to the other side and I can't preach it enough. I'm not coming, the shit that's going to get the most views, the shit that's going to get the most likes is the sensationalized bullshit of a man saying, fuck these hoes, fuck these bitches, they ain't with it. These men ain't shit. They ain't right, nothing. Go right. do your thing, girl. That's going to get it because so many girls are going to be like, you know what? Yeah, yeah. every guy this, every guy that. they're looking for, for affirmation. Sure. Of course. For, they're looking for affirmation from their experiences that they've been through, right. which might be valid. There's a whole nother, there's a fucking section of motherfuckers out there who want to do the world for you and they funny and they handsome and they have the same beliefs as you and they going to fuck with you, but don't come at them with that because then they're not. And the same thing, vice versa. Not every bitch is a city girl out here. No. A lot of them are. Don't fuck with them. No, don't just fuck with her because she got a fat ass and fat titties. If she has it, plus for sure. But what are your deal breakers? What do you look for? Most motherfuckers don't know what they look for, and then they get disappointed because it's like you don't even know what you want, bro. All right. So if the, if, if these people are hearing you right, both both the fellas and the women, mm -hmm. and they're like, all right, all right, he he sounds like he's making a lot of sense, man. Mm -hmm. Buddy got a head on his shoulders. Thirty one. All right, cool. I can vibe with him. All right. What's up, man? What are you shooting for? You know, you 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 just jumped Ooh. out of something. You know, it was Ooh. it was a little year, year and a half something. Ooh. It was a little on and off. You know, we respectfully, no 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 mm -hmm. bad uh, ending, no this, no that. You thirty one. You know, there's gonna be people on the back end saying, well, "This motherfucker was just he just he's talking. He where's just, your just, relationship at? Park had this that blah 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 whatever whatever. He's probably this. He's probably that. All right." Let's not overly entertain them because haters gonna hate. All right, so it's not about that. I'm not but even tripping, I got empathy for them. But you know, but let's keep it one hundred. Let, let, let's let's try to at least uh, entertain some type of a, of yeah. a, of a realistic scope. Mm -hmm. Where are you at with life? Where 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 is you? What what I like to say is, and and I want to do this with all my guests 
coming, you know, from here on out. Yeah. I want to do a vibe check. Ooh, vibe check. Man. I want to do a vibe check. <laughs> and by that, and I want I want to give mad credit to I Am Athlete Podcast, and then uh, mm-hmm. also they broke off. There's a split. Uh, the Pivot Podcast. Yeah, yeah, fuck with them. Oh, man. Luddy do, luddy do's. Um, but I, I, I want to do a vibe check. Where are you at mentally, physically, and financially where you feel like, all right, I can, I, I want to do better? And, and, and don't be like, oh, I want to be a millionaire. Everybody say a millionaire. No, no, no. Come on. Keep it 100. Where are you at where it's like, okay, I can do better in life with this. Let, let, let the people hear a humble, realistic side of you to admit where you at. I saw what you drove up in. Mm-hmm. I know I know how, how, how well your, your business is doing, mm-hmm. but you're 31, you don't have a lady. You don't right. have kids. You don't have this. I don't know if that fucks with you or not. Again, I just met you two hours ago. No, I love that question. Where are you at with that? Vibe check. I love that question. Um, my perspective has always been, I've never been somebody who needs to have somebody. And a lot of people are like that. They might They might not admit it, they might not they they because it, it might not like look good, but it's like they 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 like having that motherfucker at the end of the night that they can hold on to, and then they fucking super emotionally damaged because they never have real connection. It's just it's just a body. It's just warmth. It's somebody that they they vibe with surface level. I've never been like that. I fuck with hella females that I've talked to in my life that we fucking work we're solid, but I haven't taken it to that next relationship level because of the shit that I. Uh, deem necessary for me to wife you up. So currently, where I'm at, where I'm at in my life. Okay, but when you say that, so that so that people don't think that you over here sugarcoating. Are are, are, are are you are you fucking with them? Are you are y'all sexually active? <laughs> or are, are you talking about? Oh, I, I got homegirls, and you want people to believe that well, they, they just well, satisfy you I, on a friendship no, level, no, on an emotional no, level. I, no, no, for sure. I'm glad. Allow me to clarify, because maybe I'm giving shit foggy. There are certain females who for sure I fuck them and we cool and then we start talking. But I love, this is the one part that I'll always give myself credit for. And the reason why I'm going to give myself credit for is because I've heard it so many times. Lex, I always knew what the play was with you. Oh, okay, you kept the 100 you, from, you, from you, day one. You, you, never, you never told me, you because I'll never consider Woo! my, listen, like not that. real I shit. Like that. No, that's dead ass. That's dead ass right there. I like that. Because we misconstrue definitions. People talk about the, the term fuck boy a lot. I think it's a real term. For me, the way I define it, a fuckboy is somebody who paints a picture this way of what it's going to be, and they make you believe something, and they never have that intention so of pause, it going so that pause, way. So pause, pause, pause. You're 31. I don't know how you ever came up with that. It must be because you got black in you. <laughs> it must be because some type of hood influence. Yeah. I hate... I, I've had this argument with my brother's girlfriend. Uh, Cherie, I love you to death. You know, you, you're my sister-in-law. Yeah, your name, um, but today's definition of a fuckboy... Is a dude who gets around is slinging dick who doesn't want to settle down. That's, He's just that's fucking bullshit. this and that. That's no, bullshit. That's, that, bullshit. That, that, that's not today's definition. You, you a pansy ass, yeah, soft yeah, ass yeah, dude yeah. who paints a yeah, picture yeah. of somebody yeah. you're not. That's, yes, that, you nailed it. That's your warped definition. A dude is gonna take um, if it's an attractive female, she puts it in front of him. He gonna fuck her. That don't make him a fuck boy. What makes him a fuck boy is telling her, is promising her a relationship, telling her, "Baby, I got you. Baby, you give me a little bit. Baby, I'm not ready yet." In his head, some niggas aren't really not not ready yet, but in his head, he. He knows I never have any intentions away right, from her. Right. That's a fuck boy. Right. Ask any female I've spoken to, any female I've dealt with, any female we've been on FaceTime and we talked, we've connected with solid. Because because right. I, I had the ones who I've taken to nice dinners and we've done that is because that's the journey we were on and that's what we were trying to do. The ones who we we linked up late is the ones we linked up late. Yeah, that's what up. it is. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. So that's where I can always hold myself high and be prideful about because it's like I know where I lie with that. The one and there's a lot of dudes who don't do it and paint the picture because they just trying to fuck and and this is the lion jungle world we live in. Ladies, be aware. Don't ignore your red flags, fellas. If that's your goal, do what you got to do. This is the. I'm I'm not a proponent of telling anybody what to do, what not to do. I'm a proponent of telling people to manage their motherfucking expectations. You know what I'm saying? So like, so for me, and as far as why I'm not with somebody or why I'm not wifed up, I think a lot of it has to do with. Bro, I'll never force anything. I, I, there's opportunities that come my way. There's people that I've, I've thought maybe I seem that I've deemed suitable for myself that uh, 
Maybe it didn't feel that way or I didn't catch that vibe from them back. It wasn't reciprocated. Bro, I oh, I'm so fucking at peace with where I'm at, bro. I'm so fucking like um and I think the problem is everybody fit what happened when Valentine's Day came around, man? Everybody feel like they gotta have somebody. Everybody, <laughs> everybody gotta post that motherfucking so flower. Fast, yeah, yeah, not but real shit. Everyone, you know, looking for damn. Especially when you post thirty. Tell me, people don't feel that type of way. Once you get older, and the, the societal, to, the, yeah, the, the, the societal pressures. expectation. Yeah. Wait, wait till wait till you go to that wedding, and everybody got a plus exactly. one, and you don't. Exactly. Ooh, they looking at you like what, bro? I've been in that motherfucker. Everyone's hugged up, and I'm in a dance circle. He a jerk. <laughs> Let me, tell you, let me I tell you what. I'm, I'm, gl I'm glad that he brought this up because yeah. I want I want y'all to hear this, and I want y'all I want you guys to know that uh, what I'm about to say is not at all any bit, shape, or form um, a lie or an even exaggeration. Mm -hmm. I've been through. I've been to several weddings. <laughs> I got mad friends, mad friends, so that whoever's listening cannot blame whoever <laughs> I'm talking about. Multiple. But I'm going to tell you this, man. I've had a lot of husbands. I've had a lot of wives come up to me when nobody's listening. Hey, Wes, listen, don't get the wrong idea. I love my kids. <laughs> I get this shit all the time. And I don't regret anything. But. But. Fat ass but. If I, can, if I can turn back the clocks, oh my God, I would have either never or I would have waited later or that, but blah, 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 blah. and that's not a shot to them. What I'm saying it's, is it's, for all you motherfuckers out there who don't have the kids and, and, and feel that you might be in that position of what Lex was talking about, yeah. don't let that, let it eat you up if you know you're a piece of shit and you've been slacking and you've been, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Sure. If you, the shoe fits and we're. Don't forget, we're coming back yeah, to that. Yeah, sure. The shoe fits, yeah, we got to then, then, then wear it, motherfucker, because right. we believe in that. But otherwise, the rest of y'all, man, not everybody's mm -hmm. with that. Not everybody's timetable does that. Not yeah, everybody's, no you know, that's it. So, Bro, I, I want to I comment on that because it's, it's something that goes against my view. Like, I try to be optimistic, and I'm trying to, this shit is scary. It's scary. And what I mean by that is, I get that same thing all the time, whether it's at a fucking, um, whether it's at a wedding or whether it's, I'm t I, I always see game. I don't think I know it all. I don't think I know shit. I always see game. So when I see game and a lot of the time is from older men and a lot of the time is from older women. I was at a fucking, a Brazilian party, bro. This dude was worth like 20 million. This was two weeks ago. One of my homies works for a yacht brokerage. The dude owns Ooh. half the yacht brokerage. It was in North Miami mansion on the water. It was beautiful, man. They had like a Brazilian band out there. Loved it. Introduced me to dude. Dude was awesome. Chopped it up. And then his wife was over there. How old are you? What do you do? Da, da, da. Oh, you don't have nobody? You single? I'm like, yeah. She's like, take your time. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked, and, I, and I'm like, number one, I'm like, I'm like, mommy, I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm like, mommy, mommy, why are you, why are you whispering? Fuck. In my head, in my head, I've heard this shit a million times, but I always yeah, try to, I treat it like, oh no. Yeah. So I'm, you know, what, what, what you mean? Take your time. And I can tell in them, and it, and that's why it's scary because it's like I'm not trying to discourage relationships where I think love is a beautiful thing. I believe in family, but I believe in it. Seek it with the right people so you don't live out the rest of your fucking, fucking life in unhappiness. So a lot of those people are like, take it, uh, it's rough. They're stuck in a situation, motherfucker. They stuck in their, they're stuck in their marriage. They're stuck with their, you know, the pre and situation. And, 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 and by stuck, the way, they got kids. They stuck. To the, so to they, the, they look at you and you're the outlet. Yeah. Like, don't do it. And it's like, it's not to say don't do it. The correct advice would be do it with the right person. Do it with it, with it, with less emotions involved. Yeah, just less know pressure, who, just, less this, less that. Just, that. just know that's who what you they want to tell with, you, bro. No, yeah. you fuck. And, and it's like, and it's not to say they don't that's love great, a person. That's great advice. It's You're not to totally say, but, right, bro. But, but, but I hear it a lot, bro. When yeah, it, man, and, and it's, it's crazy. Like, and I don't want to be like, oh, fuck, damn. Yeah, these older people ain't happy. I'm never going yeah. like, nah, man, seek love, seek family. I believe, in, I believe in that shit. But I also believe in be careful so you're not 25 years down the road telling the next young you, you don't want to be here. <laughs> you know, that yeah, shit is. man. And, and it's not even like, honestly, it, there's so many positives to take from having kids in your life because they level you, they they ground you, they 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 keep you from doing dumb shit. They change your purpose. They, 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 every day, every day, every day, all that. But there's no denying that they alter your life 
A thousand oh, yeah. percent Not even a hundred A thousand mm-hmm. percent And then when you think It's over It's not over Motherfucker They come back mm-hmm. You think 18 No bitch <laughs> No bitch 30 years old I'm coming back Mama yeah. Dada <laughs> Ma I had an argument With my lady I need to fucking Move back in Like back. this is This shit's to like 45 or 50 <laughs> You know So But, uh, but yeah. If you're gonna deal with it It's your child But deal with it With the right partner Who knows how to who knows Don't how jump to right it into it Man It's just important you hit it hard, you work out hard, but do you recover as hard as your exercises? Recovery is the number one thing that keeps most athletes from reaching the next level. Here at Flueless Mobile Wellness, we want to help you become the animal, the champion, the winner that you are. Recover right. Recover with Flueless Mobile Wellness. All right, so... Speaking about everything that we've been talking about, right? One of the biggest things that I know that you brought it up in in one of your videos that really got my attention. You know, uh, it was it was really one of those videos that I was like, "Damn, <laughs> I think about that shit all the time, but I just don't verbalize it enough." Because you know, when, when, when who am I? But I try not to ruffle feathers unless I'm that close with you mm-hmm. or. If you're on my podcast and we have an agreement, I might push a certain button. Yeah. But we're going to have an agreement before you you know, come on the podcast. Right. So you and I, it wasn't an agreement. I just thought, bro, you vibe like I vibe. All right. You, you down for this? You down for that? Cool. Say less. Let's get on. Boom. One of the videos that you talked about that I really related to was you said, uh, I don't understand why. Why? So many people are bothered by others, and 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 once I'm done, you know, uh, reciting it, please correct no, me sure. where, I where, wherever I fall off. Why people are take so much offense to what others say, <clears throat> even if it's against their gender, their uh, wh- wherever they happen to land somewhere in the neighborhood of what <clears throat> they're referring to. Why do you get so offended if if unless the unless it applies to you. Uh, the shoe fits. The shoe motherfucking fits. The shoe fits. That's yep. the only way that that that. When you said that, man, I thought, holy fuck, <laughs> that's so accurate. Like I, yep. I, I don't say that enough, but it's like, yo, why are you offended? Mm. I, Lex, I tell people, uh, I, I try, I tend to ignore all that. And I'm like, yo, build a bridge, build a bridge, get over it. Right. Build a bridge, get over it. But let's get deeper than that, because that's where you're at. Fuck, forget about the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> no, take it over from there, yeah, bro. Now, for sure, what the reason why do you get so offended unless the shoe fits? More often than not, let's be fucking real. The shoe does fit, right? Somebody is talking about some a certain type of people, and they hit a chord that you don't like, right? <laughs> right, and you feel some type of way. So you, that motherfucker doesn't know what they're talking about. Fuck them, ill. I hate them because you felt attacked. How many times you saw like you see like people say that shit all the time as a joke. Tell me there's not truth behind all jokes, right? Like, oh, my goodness. Like, I said it all the time. Like, oh, my God. I feel attacked. Ha, ha. Like, no, y- yeah, you feel attacked because yeah. you felt like they're talking about you because you part you participate in that activity. Right. Or you're that type of person. Like, if if, if somebody is... There was a connection there. Right, yeah. If somebody's speaking on on something that, oh, hey, um, yo, men, let's say, let's say I'm a female, right? Let's say I'm a female. And... Females, this is this is important. So tell me if I'm wrong, if I'm right, whatever. But from what I've picked up, because I listen to y'all and I shut the fuck up when you guys tell me about <laughs> what you like, what you don't like in men and what men do. I shut the fuck up and I listen. What I've picked up a lot is you like when men take initiative and don't say, I don't know, girl, what do you want to do? We can do whatever. What I've picked up is the women be ready at eight. I got dinner reservations, and then we're going to a movie. Bro. Dr- dress nice. I'll, I'll be there soon. Oh, my God. Their pussy's, oh, their pussy's just bro, dripping. Just bro, dripping. Some right, other, some right. fucking yeah. Niagara Falls. Right, 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 right. right. It's, it's, but. That's the that's an <laughs> easy general statement right. that is applicable as fuck. Okay. You know, but, but, but. Number one, well, number one, most important, a lot of men are not listening to that <laughs> because they are listening nice. like we talked, like we tapped in earlier. Right. So they're up to other dudes who are t- talking about what a woman Ooh, wants. There you go. And it's like, no, she told you 
Oh, they bro, they get dry as a motherfucking Sahara Desert. If you say, I don't know, what do you, what do you like? What do you, not tell her what the fuck we doing, baby. Be ready. Look good. I can't wait to see you. Goodbye. Oh, they gonna love it. But and they and it's not only that they gonna love it. They tell you they gonna love it. <laughs> but you're not listening And it's the same way vice versa Ladies if you see a lot of men <laughs> Speaking on this stuff About what they look for in a woman And what they're, what they're seeking Right And you're like oh no But so and so who has a blue check <laughs> Did right. yeah, She said that X Y Z No 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 Listen to my man who him and his homeboys And all of their people and they know what they look for in a woman. I love I, I love a woman who acts feminine. I love a woman who presents herself classy. I love a woman who isn't of the I don't give a fuck mentality. She does give a fuck because she cares about what I think and how I feel. Boom. So let me listen to that. You know. And if you don't give a fuck and you want to be how you be and you don't want to transform for any man or for any woman, then by all means do that. But manage your expectations. Do that and then don't be mad when none of them fuck with you. I'm not here to tell anybody how to live. I'm here to tell somebody do whatever the fuck you want to do, but don't be upset when somebody doesn't fuck with you <laughs> on that vibe. In other words, face the repercussions. Yeah, face the repercussions. Let, like, let, let's be honest. Bring me back to the um, original question you asked me. Yeah, it, well, I, I mean, I, before I address that, make sure you're ready to sleep in the bed that you made. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very that, 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 that's what I'm saying. I, I, I I'm responding in, in regards to everything you just said. Like, be ladies, accountable. Just, just yeah, there you go. Be accountable. That's it. Be accountable. I'm not. And remember this, girls. By all means, I hope by now you guys know we're not attacking you guys at all. We, we we've been discussing both genders, both this. You know, oh, yeah. uh, it's, it it goes both ways. It really does. Let's not be defensive, no. Yeah, and, and 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 assuming that you're not being defensive, I'll I'll check the comments later. <laughs> but they gonna say some shit. Uh, yeah, of course, you know. Um, but I, I love that 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 Lex has come on here. Has been so open. You guys have seen me through pure transparency again. Never met this motherfucker in my <laughs> life until today. Until today, and I promise you, I'm gonna have a great friendship with you after this day. Sure. I already know. <laughs> but but <laughs> I have not met you up until today, mm -hmm. and 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 I and I love that we did this. And I want to continue doing this with, with, with other people in the future, all the right people. Please, motherfuckers, do not hit my DM. Talking about, yo, if you think Lex with this, you should hear my story. You should, but like, motherfucker, just. Is that, is that what they do for real? <sighs> everybody it, thinks they fucking. The everybody thinks they have a story. And I feel horrible uh, for either, which is my typical reaction, is not reacting. Mm hmm. <laughs> I, it's just the weirdest thing because that's not me. Right. I typically want to let you know X, Y, or Z. So what? You typically when you hear somebody that thinks their shit is special, they want to get off. You just I don't know what to tell them, Lex. It's the weirdest. It's the weirdest thing, bro. Like think yeah. about this, homie. Talk to me. You heard. You heard earlier, way earlier, right before we started. Mm -hmm. I wanted you to get a a, a a a grip of me and why. I said, hey, man, look, before we do this, because I just met you, I want to let you know. Right. I just want to give you some parameters of what I've been through, where I'm at, so in case, blah, 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 blah. Mm. And I'll tell you what I've been through, and it's not some secret, you know, my, my prison experience and so on and so forth. Right. Based upon what you've been through, it's, it's going to influence how you are, how receptive you are to the rest That's of the it. world, to this, to that. Hence why when we freestyle this, I wanted to hear and listen about you as, as everybody else did. Mm -hmm. All right, motherfucker, what you been through? What was your upbringing? Right. Are your parents there? Right. Oh, okay, good parents. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. how, how, how's your siblings? Oh, shit, you got a good fucking... Oh, That's okay. Right. Exactly. Like, yep. this, this is real shit. This, I wanted to come out real. Well, I try to I try to do that all the time, mm -hmm. but I have to be understanding that the majority of the world has not gone what I've been through to in order to, to, to get to the level of where I'm at, and it's not I'm anything better than anybody else because I'm not, but you... You're not. You're probably not going to think how I think because of X, Y, and Z. Experience is underrated, my boy. You, you said it, and that's a fuck. We got to put that on a T-shirt because yeah. that's that's <laughs> a ginormous Ooh, fucking saying. It's Oof. so true. Jeez, People the are, they, they undermine it. They mm. undermine that experience. Is it doesn't mean that much. No, it does. It, does. it means a lot. It, whether you had it young, and you're still young, mm. or or. You're dealing with somebody who's a little bit older. It's but, just experience. But like you were saying, sometimes that shit falls upon deaf deaf ears because yes. that shit sounds good on a t-shirt and it looks good. Motherfuckers who know it, 
they gonna read the t-shirt and be like, damn, he right, because I didn't know shit until I went through it. And then yeah. there's other motherfuckers who are gonna read it like, yeah, sounds good. Like, it's under, you gotta go through shit to know how it really feels in your heart. You know what I'm saying? And that shit, right. it's, it's, it's different, it's different level. And that's, I feel like when we were talking about being younger, being in youth, and when you think you know a lot, like, I always felt like I was intelligent. I always felt like I could speak well. I always felt like I had empathy and I could listen to other people's perspectives. I was like, nah, I get it. I, I fucking get it. What is everybody talking about? Until I went through some motherfucking shit. Mm. And, then I, and then I realized, I was like, bro, I thought this, and I didn't fucking have a clue, bro. Shit hit the fan. These motherfuckers have, like, I can't. These motherfuckers have been through shit, and I'm over here thinking I know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So that shit, until you see it and until you right. go through it, bro, that shit is everything. And you know what? So and, and, to and, my and, young guns, do like, bro, some of y'all are fucking sharp and ahead of your time, and I'm not trying to undermine you or say you a fucking idiot. Nah, some of y'all are with it. But listen to these older motherfuckers, because just like I listen to motherfuckers older than me, this man got a hella game to offer, and when he talk, I listen. So that shit crazy. I, I appreciate that and I, I want to give you the flowers by, mm-hmm. right back and I want to piggyback what you're saying like listen if you choose to wild out <laughs> and live your young life back to what he said then do it mm-hmm. it's gonna come but with something that's it you heard him mm-hmm. it, the, there is a price to pay mm-hmm. and by that we, we, we mean that there's an aftermath mm-hmm that's what the price to pay is. Remember that. The price to pay doesn't mean that we're saying you're going to get locked up. You're going to just understand when you act out of emotions without literally having discipline and controlling your decisions, there Shit, will repercussions. There will be a pregnancy. There will be a <laughs> fight that you didn't want. There mm. will be words that you said that you want to want to want to pull back. And you're like, oh, I kept it's, it exactly. real. You kept it real, but you got yeah, your ass exactly. Beat. You kept it real, but the love of your life left you. There you, you go. Kept, you know what I'm saying? There you, you go. Do. So like, it comes. There you have a price. Every, you have every right to do whatever the fuck you want but that shit comes with something and you have to accept that it's not unfair the world isn't the fuck the world that's not of it no the world the world is fair it's you motherfucker be accountable you made that bed you sleep in it and, so, and, and remember this though we've all done it mm-hmm. oh and, yeah and, and I've lot, been and there like I'm, I'm better than nobody and a lot of it a lot of us have done it two times mm-hmm. but just remember be real with yourself mm-hmm. If you realize that you've done it and you've done it before, acknowledge your issue, man. Acknowledge your issue. The, the same way, again, I, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the least religious person that you guys will ever meet, but the same way that that creed goes for the uh, AA meetings. You know, uh, acknowledge that you don't have the power and you ask God mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. Acknowledge. You have to acknowledge. The first The first step to recovery is acknowledging yeah. that you have a problem. So acknowledge, God damn, you know what? Bro, I'm a little short-tempered. I'm a little this. I'm a little too lovey-dovey. Bro, I'm whatever. It, it's so funny. I, I read self-help books, self-help books, like I, a lot of shit that like I always want to grow from, and I'm like, damn, I'm trying to be a better person. What do I do? The central theme in all of the self-help books and all of the motivational speakers, the central theme in all of them, because some of them say wild shit, different shit. The one thing that they all say, the central theme is accountability. It's on you. There you go. So to the viewers, to the listeners, it, whether you're in an unhappy relationship it's on you because you didn't leave if 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 they didn't listen maybe it's on you because you didn't project yourself right and give the right you know you 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 couldn't speak clearly on what you had to say if if you're crying what did you do and maybe it's like damn that's cynical like fuck it's not yeah people are assholes people are pieces of shit people abuse you but if you can have that accountable fucking mentality you can grow and you can really be like i'm in control because if you lose accountability you lose control if i say damn that was on me then i have control to change it if there it wasn't go. if it wasn't my fault damn if west did me wrong and west could do me wrong again has nothing right. to do with me. no i chose to deal with you motherfucker. right right i let I him chose, do me wrong yeah bro do you know how many business deals I've had go bad and it was like damn was my fault it, yeah I'm in the middle of a middleman play and I'm like oh shit I, I I rented them a mansion but this motherfucker didn't clean the house and their client is complaining about not cleaning that that is not that motherfucker's fault that's my, my fault, fault yeah. because I chose to associate with right, them and right. too many people will call the client I'm so sorry they didn't yeah, do their yeah, job yeah, fire no, 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 no. no as opposed to my apologies that was on me I will fix it what can I do to make it better? And it's Boom. that mentality to take on everything. And then pe- people will be receptive to that because they're of like, because they like, damn, okay, he kept it real. As opposed to he blamed the next motherfucker. You Perfect, know what I mean? Perfectly said, brother. I mean, yeah. I mean again, I, I guess it. our key word tonight was balance. <laughs> but accountability 
God damn, that's a huge part of balance, bro. Mm-hmm. The the balance beam will balance itself out yep. if you hold yourself accountable for the decisions that you made. And decisions go as far back mm-hmm. as I said, like I trusted him, mm-hmm. her. Mm-hmm. It's well, not, if, if it's, shit hits the fan because of him or her, mm-hmm. it's, I, it's I, easy I, to be I like, oh, to, him or him. I chose to fuck with him. I made that decision. I ignored the red right, flags. Right. Don't ignore them red flags, baby. See them. Or I I ignored the deal breakers. I know that I don't fuck with a... I know... I'm a girl. I know that I don't fuck with a dude who has a bad temper because I've been through that shit and I can't fuck with it. Even if I love him, I can't do it. The next dude I fuck with has a bad temper, but damn, he's cute. Mm. But damn, he's smooth when we Ooh. out at dinner. He's a little, so, bit, oh, he's a little bit older. Damn, I, I, yeah, I, think, I, think, I older. think I can get, I think I can get that out but of damn, him. damn, I want a bit. I want an entrepreneur, and he's an entrepreneur. Meantime, then, meantime, the hummingbird's like this, bitch. What the then, fuck are you thinking? What right, the fuck? You got the devil and the angel, and then when he and then when he snaps, you go to your girls. Oh, there we go. Hey, that piece of shit It's all his fault You're, you're, you're gonna have Four homegirls mm. Three of them Are gonna say Fuck him He's a piece of shit You right He's an asshole You're all good girl And there's gonna be that one Who's if gonna she's be lucky. like If she's lucky If she's lucky If she's lucky Who you surround yourself with Is important Exactly Exactly If, if she's lucky There's gonna be that one Who's gonna be like Girl but you you saw all them red you flags. Knew you knew how he you reacted. You told us a year ago. You told he, us a year ago. And he did it once, twice, three, four times, and you stayed here we there. Are again. So now here we are. That's on you. And you're Fuck. not going to like to hear it. Jesus Christ, <laughs> bitch, I've been telling yeah, you this for fucking... But, and it's the same thing with fellas. Tell me when your boy don't exactly. tell me. Exactly. She tripping. Exactly. Hey, yeah. Bro, I be hearing that shit nowadays. I be giving my boy so much game, and when they see tripping, I'm like, man, you let her trip, bro. How many times you going to disappear during yeah, fantasy football? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> man, we had a draft. You ain't showing up. What the up. fuck? <laughs> Jeez, it gets worse every season. <laughs> you brought up the fantasy football. <laughs> Lex, listen, man, you've you you you've been a whole lot of fun, my brother. I, I, I can't even lie to you, dog. This has been man, great, I, man. I, Last, I'm not gonna lie. This Listen, is my first one. It won't be my last. I, I, I feel. I feel like. I feel like we we might have to do a series. We'll we'll see, man. <laughs> we'll you know, we'll, we're, we're gonna ask the crowd. We're gonna ask the viewers. We're gonna ask the listeners, man. You know, uh, I, I think that again. I've been saying this. Uh, I know that our our common ground has been balance is everything, mm-hmm. and I will always live and die by that. Yeah, balance, balance is everything, without a doubt. Accountability is part of that balance. If you won't have balance if you cannot own up to your shit. And that's on all both genders. I said all genders, like there was third. There's not. It's there's not, motherfucker. There's not. There's only two. And then there's side genders. That man trying to get canceled. Oh my god. Don't worry about it, man. YouTube was a joke. That's, that's why you the black sheep. YouTube, speak. YouTube, we comedians, we're just nah, joking. Nah, that's, why the black, that's why you the black sheep. Speak your but, truth. Man. But um I can't wait to have you back on. Thank you, bro. I'll be back. You know that. We're going to cut up again, man. I love your opinion. I love. I, there's just so, so many topics we can talk about, dude. So I appreciate you coming on. You're, you're a real one, my brother. Most definitely, bro. I appreciate it, and especially okay. coming from a, from a young perspective at 31, man. <laughs> you're definitely advanced in, in more, most of the others, you know? Yeah. And I, I hope everybody can uh, appreciate that you're... You've been so open-minded, so, so willing to talk about everything, whether yeah. or not you put yourself in a position where they're like... Yo, Good. what the fuck? Why you talking like that? You ain't defending us. Yeah. I appreciate you, my brother. Guys, make sure you follow him. The handle, I hate to repeat this. Yes. <laughs> Let your life. You yes, got that sir. shit locked down? Yeah. That shit. That oh, shit. yeah. I know. We got we got him. Um, bro, that shit is locked. Let your life underscore. Let your life inter- Let your life entertainment is the business page. Okay. Follow you on this. A lot of game. You're going you gonna to see everything that's going on in Miami. Pay attention because we're here. <laughs> Guys, make sure you go show your love, man. Go mm-hmm. follow him. And listen, it ain't even about learning the game, man. This this brother right here is he just he just he's somebody I fuck with, man. He's he, he's he's never gonna spit some bullshit to you, you know. If he's gonna keep it real, he's gonna give you some sound advice. He's somebody that you want to follow. Yeah, it's not these inter, 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 internet gangsters, <laughs> these these wannabe influencers who haven't been through shit. Show you love where it deserves to be loved, man. So hey, I appreciate you, Lex. Yeah. Much love, guys. Don't forget, man. Show you support. Follow Lex. Tune in. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. And if you haven't bought any merch, get your ass over there. Get you some merch, man. Yeah. Come on. Tighten Black, up. Blacksheepapparel.shop. Do not forget it. Blacksheepapparel.shop. The link will be in the description down below. Appreciate you guys. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Love, peace, and hair grease. Y'all take care of each other. Peace.